hello there, Timmy. Whoa, easy now. I'm on your side. Oh, what's the matter, Timmy? Has the Mayan mutant robot zombie apocalypse got you down? Tired of baked beans again? Watch this. Well, how would you Jelly. like to go to an all-new furry convention? Well, how would you like then to go to an all-new furry to convention? Then you should go to F squared. Then you should go to F squared. The end is just the beginning. The That's end right. is Come just join us the beginning. At the end of February. That's right. In Milwaukee, Come Wisconsin. join us at the end of February. For the your life. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hell at the Sheraton the Hotel of your in life. Field, Wisconsin. Hell at the Sheraton Hotel establishment in Field, Wisconsin. This find ready for all your fuzzy needs. From shaking your tail off at the dance, to buying art in the dealer's den. And you will find that we have the finest rooms available to accommodate your every need. To tell you more, here's con chairman and part-time maniac, Alkali Bismuth. Foxhole, I know all about that. Oh, hi there, I didn't see you come in. My name's Alkali Bismuth. You may remember me from such occurrences as last night in your bedroom when you slept, and IFC, the Wonder Cat. But I'm here to tell you about an exciting new occurrence that's happening right in your backyard. That's right, well, if you live in Wisconsin. Right in someone's backyard. That's right, F squared. But why tell you about this exciting new convention when I can sing about it through interpretive dance? And a one, and a two, and a... Sorry about that. Planned Parenthood asked me to never do that again. Now let me tell you about some of the encounters you'll be having at F Square. Our guest of honor, Sema Jayhawk, famous host of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Crazy Corgi, the artist of honor and famous fursuiter. The inanimate Carbon Rod. Xander the Blue will be in attendance, including The Bulge. And many, many more. Now, if you wander around the con space, you might find yourself amidst some of our panels. In this case, a panel is an occurrence where a presenter presents information or dick jokes to an audience. Panels like Whose Line Is It Anyway? Lupus and Abula, The Open Mic Comedy Hour, The Furry Variety Show, Moving Picture Video Games, A Foodie Drink Full for Our Sponsors, Eight Loin Claws, A Kettle Prod, and many, many dances. That's it, Timmy. Work those legs. So come join us for F Squared in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in February of 2014. It'll be more fun than a radioactive bag of cats. Oh, hi there. I'm Alkali Bismuth. You mem- Oh my, I didn't even know an elephant could do that in Africa. I'm Alkali Bismuth. You may remember me from such cons as Indie Furcon. The fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was distracted. Oh god. There's like there's guys putting on makeup. <laughs> I'm here today to talk to you about an exciting new A sighting? That's okay. No, it is not. <laughs> Foxhole, I know all about that. My name's Alkali Bismuth. You may remember me. You may berate me, bro. <laughs> oh my, Big Bertha, you are a battleship. Oh my, sailors and elephants? <laughs> okay, stop it. <sighs> it's porn! I'm literally looking at porn! <laughs> It's not even a joke. <laughs> oh my, 100 push-ups? Go for 120. <laughs> kamikaze, kamikaze. These pictures are awful. <laughs> AK-47 times that night. Planned Parenthood asked me to never do that dance again. Oh, it's real. <laughs> he put these rota in here. I was expecting apple juice. <laughs> oh, I'm so Conventions. happy. Conventions. <laughs>
herpes. <laughs> I can taste the peaches and the gay. So let me tell you about some of the encounters you'll be having at whose line is... So let me tell you about some of the encounters you'll be having at F squared. Xander's dick, it'll be out in the open. He'll be wandering around, dick flapping in the wind. Wappa, wappa, wappa. Wappa, wappa. You should do an outtake for this. Oh, Show we will, it. we will. You want a physicist to speak at your funeral. You want the physicist to talk to your grieving family about the conservation of energy so they will understand that your energy has not died. You want the physicist to remind your sobbing mother about the first law of thermodynamics, that no energy gets created in the universe and none is destroyed. You want your mother to know that all your energy every vibration, every BTU of heat, every wave of every particle that was her beloved child remains with her in this world. You want the physicist to tell your weeping father that amid energies of the cosmos, you gave as good as you got. At one point, you'd hope that the physicist would step down from the pulpit and walk over to your broken-hearted significant other Tell them that all the photons that ever bounced off your face, all the particles whose paths were interrupted by your smile, by the touch of your hair, hundreds of trillions of particles have raced off like children, their ways forever changed by you. And as your significant other rocks in the arms of a loving family, may the physicist let them know that all the photons that bounced from you were gathered in the particle detectors that are their eyes. That those photons created within them constellations of electromagnetically charged neurons whose energy will go on forever. And the physicist could remind everyone of how much all of our energy is given off as heat. There may be a few people fanning themselves with the program as he says it. And he will tell them the warmth that flowed through you in life is still here still a part of all that we are, even as we who mourn continue in the heat of our own lives. You'll want the physicist to explain to those who loved you that they need not have faith. Indeed, they should not have faith. Let them know that they can measure, that scientists have measured precisely the conservation of energy and found it accurate, verifiable, and consistent across space and time. You can hope your family will examine the evidence and satisfy themselves that the science is sound and that they'll be comforted to know that your energy is still around. According to the law of the conservation of energy, not a bit of you is gone. You're just less orderly. Well, I guess all of you have <laughs> Jesus Christ! Five dick shaped things! <laughs> Welcome back to Pepper Coyote! <laughs> With this stupid dwarf who just does nothing but drink all Don't the time. Don't call me stupid! Smash table with my ass! <laughs> Seriously? Enough with the ass! <laughs> or we want you to check your dollar bill. Check my telegram. Alright. I didn't think I'd fall for a gay Andre the Giant. <laughs>
For a second there, I thought the band in the background just said state. This is not how you smoke! <laughs> Stocks and bonds. 23andMe has traced back his lineage to the homeland of Gritty, America's favorite cross-checking coke addict. I made us here. I made him came up here and absolutely killed. There's not a lot of bad things I can say about him, but I can write them down and he'd never be able to read it, so here we go. <laughs> My mate is like a tornado of shit inside of my house. <laughs> I have had more property damage than him than New Orleans did in trail off your sentence here so you don't get shot. <laughs> Japan. Japan is great. They all hold all your hands. They smell underwear right out of machines. Japan is great. You know what I mean. No, Japan. We are totally no, having a wet t-shirt desert. My pizza! God pissed on my pizza! That's the name of this episode. <laughs> uh. Do you have a better idea? Yes, I do. Space door open. I don't leave the space door open. People fly out the space door. I was born if in you the leave space, the space door. door open. The final bottle of my favorite tequila has been drank. That came in a wooden box. Begin the Viking funeral. The HMS anyway, and the blood ritual, one of which is. <laughs> you, gotta, uh, you guys want some carrot? No. Oh, oh, oh shit, he wants some carrots! Whoa! What? Yeah, bitch, get eaten! Oh, yum, yum, yum! Oh, oh, God! The hole. Oh, no! What? What? Oh, oh no! Whoa. I ate two bunnies! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh! They're fucking in your mouth! Ha! Ah! Welcome to the Dragon Show. It's Dragon Affair together. I'm Zanny. This is Alkali. I'm not here. 
We are here, and it's kind of loud, but that's only for us because we have desktop audio. It's off anyway, so. There we go. Let's fix that, and I'll yeah. fix it over here, and then all the fixing, and now it's muted, and we'll <sighs> give some music. Hello, everyone. There we go. Some music. Scarlet, no wow. delay. Wow. So much stuff going on the screen. Oh, my God. It's so very mean. Holy crap. This screen is hell. What would it be Dragon Show without a smooth intro? It wouldn't be Dragon Show without eight slider bars that aren't being used by the current program. What, what the? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah. Exactly. Oh my god, this thing. We have so many audios. Ink Blitz, welcome to the chat, my friend, and enjoy the madness. So we have a first time chatter out there. And of course, good. Rusty Husky, welcome. Hello. I haven't seen you in here, but actually, I think it's been a while if I've seen you in here before. Cat lover Jerry Garcia. Hello. <laughs> nothing, nothing I don't like, like about that. I mean, come on. You were playing with some pussy this weekend. <laughs> Shut up. That wasn't your own. hey -o. You were. That's yeah, true. There were kitties this weekend. There were kitties. You were petting the kitties. Ah, oh, such cute kitties. Yeah. No, that it, it sidetracked the entire event that we were in, uh, enjoying. Hanging out with a few friends in Michigan, enjoying some downtime, watching some videos. Everything came to a grinding halt when the kitty entered the room and Zan decided, well, this is going to take all of my focus. I have a kitty. There's a kitty here. It they was adorable. It, uh, what what messages did I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Cats are magical and they just make you like them. Cats Even are magical. I, mean, I don't know. It's great. <laughs> I don't know why this is in the middle, but anyway, it's bothering me. You know, they feel you be like this. Silence. I'm already using all my green screen cloths for things. We got one on the couch. We got this one behind us that I'm touching right now. See how I feel the background. High five in all the angels. You High five in angels. all the angels. Actually, it was funny right before this. It's uh, been what, like two weeks since we had a, a normal Sunday morning brunch, right? Yeah, I think you're right. So we're doing the setup, and we have a list, but certain things like I don't think of, and uh, putting on the list set garage to 100% on all lights. We're sitting here like, why is the green screen not working? It's all hazy it's and fuzzy. Gloomy, yeah. yeah, it's because the garage wasn't all the way up. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to keep on this so we can do other things. So yeah, we're going to switch things time. over in a moment oh, or two. Yeah, no problem. Hello, all. We're <laughs> back and stuff. We're back on Brazil because, you know, I like this. Little th I like to pretend we have, we're on a beach. You like to pretend you're on a beach? Get, get nice and sunburned. I, so, you uh, can be, so you can be miserable. I told you I cooked my arm before, right? Like, I don't mess around with sunburn no more. Oh, no. No, I actually cooked my arm when I was younger. Oh, uh, We Jesus. went out to Indiana Dunes. Uh, no prep work whatsoever. Literally just Sigma. Oh. We haven't started talking to you about yet. But we haven't started talking about you yet, buddy. Those were words in the proper order. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Also, this episode is brought to you by La Colombe Coffee. That's right. Go to Costco and meet a very nice elderly woman who's shilling the coffee, who then stands there and talks to you for 10 minutes and is amusing beyond all hell, adorable as shit, and just kept giving me coffee. By the end, I'm like, you know, you definitely did this on purpose. You're an amazing salesman. I feel bad not buying it, but now I kind of love it. I got gotcha. you. A nice triple coffee in the morning. We get the best sellers of Costco products in there. That, well, the best and the worst. Let's not forget the woman who was doing the uh, the grilled cheese. Quite possibly the greatest pot product I have ever tried at a Costco. Hands us this literal grilled cheese. Not a grilled yes, cheese sandwich. Yes. Cheese that was put into a toaster oven on a tray, grilled, charred on top on a cracker, <sighs> and she was just like, here. Like, she knew she didn't need to sell shit. We bought that, too, because I'm fat. <laughs> but no, we went to the beach in Indiana Dunes. I uh, laid out there, no suntan, no prep. Uh, my arm got so sunburned that I had a disc the size of a small, like one of our saucers. Oh. Solid. Rock solid for a month. What? I'm like, oh, I definitely have cancer. There's there's no way I don't have cancer in this arm. Like, it's gonna be a few years for like, sir, we have to remove the arm. And I'll be like, that's my masturbating arm. They're like, don't worry, sir, it's the future. And the robo arm will have a fucking flashlight on it. That sounds about right. Yeah, I think that's how it'll work. That's that's a good way to uh, adjust with technology. Get your robo arm. That'll be sucking with your jerking arm. Oh man, you have oh, to yeah, learn right? differently. Yeah. No, this is gonna be a nightmare. 
Did you ever switch your main hand for that? Oh, yeah, I get bored all the time. Yeah, you just switch off? Oh, yeah, yeah, just because, I mean, I'm fat. It's a lot of weight holding this arm up. This is a lot of exercise. I want to spread out the workout, and all of our viewers are gone. Yay. <laughs> That's okay. My arm's disappearing behind here, and it looks weird, and yes. Anyway, uh, but <sighs> I, think, I think I mentioned this before. Mine used to be my left arm. Right. And then I was like, oh, shit, it's, uh, it's curving a lot. So I switched to my right arm, and that became my new arm. And it, it straightened itself out. And I don't know if that actually wor happened, Hi, Maggie. but I swear to God, when I was growing up, I straightened up my dick by switching arms. I don't know if that's a thing, but I want to believe it is. Yeah, who knows? Oh, Coda got burned in Cancun down to blisters on shoulders and back. That's, a, that's brutal. Uh, have you ever had the uh, peeling to the point where your entire life is itchy? Oh, just to, just where it's like coming off a little bit, like at a time. So oh. it's like like that, like it looks like dandruff. Oh, so I had my back. whole no. back sitting no, in a computer like, chair, just like, oh boy, that would have sucked. Like, just like a dog, like eh, just wiggling in the chair, trying to itch my back, well, nearly in tears because like, nope, this is not helping. I am going to be in this level two pain for the rest of my life. Like oh. that's how it felt. It's like wallpaper. You shed like a snake. I did shed like a steak. Thank you. Sm sp sp spinost. Spawn it. Spawn it. Spawnist. Sponsed. Sponsed. You're better. Sponsed, thank you so much for the subscription and welcome to the madness, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> so we've done things, but I don't know what order we want to go in because like, we still have other things to, talk, to announce. and I don't know what happens anymore with the order of things, so uh, I'll let you drive on that. You know what I'm talking about, right? I do. Okay. Oh, B, well done. Wait, did we get another one? Yeah, new first time chatter. Thank you so much for following. Tongues! Really okay, that's an amazing it. thing to fall asleep on a Tanzian beach. Oh, that that's one hell of a way to get sunburned, my friend. That yeah. oh my god. Also, welcome to the chat, bud. That's awesome. Surprised you don't have a Tasmanian devil in your face when you grow up or, or wake up or something like that. <laughs> that would be the weirdest helicopter ever because he does the spin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh my anus. Uh, the worst sunburn my dad ever got. Cat lover oh Jerry Garcia. God. Holy shit. Why do you have to put that image in my mind? <laughs> I'm just getting on a cock. And you know I mean, what? That would be really feel, I might feel really good. You know why I had to put that image in your mind? Because you are two years older than me, which means when you first joined the furry fandom, one of the very first gifts, the raptor being sucked off by the tornado. That was definitely something that you saw. You've seen it. You've seen it. I don't think I've seen it. You've this. seen it. No. Everyone who is old enough has seen it. I've, okay, hold on. I've, Raptor I've, Tornado. I'm, I know my old internet porn. I've Raptor Tornado. I, I know. I know my old internet porn. Yeah, I, I, I read the Thundercats fanfic. The famous one. I don't know if you know that one. Of course I know that one. Okay. That was on Nifty. It's way Are down at the bottom. It's way down at the bottom of, uh, I don't know, it's celebrity or something. What? Yeah. It's hysterical. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't realize that's as uh, well-known as I thought. Oh, yeah, I but, thought so. I mean... No, I've never seen the... Tacola's never seen it either, but Autofox has. by a tornado. Yeah, it was uh, macro porn. They, they had this raptor that would do things, and one of them was definitely a raptor getting sucked off by a tornado. Just, as long as it sounded like a grapefruit. <laughs> no, um, there was no sound, but all I can remember while watching that is the kid who put the pen in the drill in computer. In, in the library. I've told you that one before, right? Mm. As I, I worked in the library uh, staff and, and for my high school career. It's just something you do if you want to run the school, and I had problems. So <sighs> back room, you know, we it was uh, the where we take all the magazines. You get a year's worth of magazines. As they come in that year, you put out the individual issues. Okay. You don't throw those away. You're a school library. you got to keep that shit. Mm. So what you end up doing is you take all the magazines for the year, bind them together, put this tape on them, drill holes all the way through the top, put a rope in, put tape over that. Now it's a book. It's a whole year's worth of magazines oh, in one. And that's how the school library worked. So this kid, freshman, I'm teaching him how to do this. I leave the room, and he realizes the drill, which, you know, you know, drill, you mm. tighten, untighten. He's like, oh, you know what else would fit in there? My pen the inside of a pen put it in there tightened it turned on the drill you have no idea how much ink is inside a fucking ballpoint pen oh 
all over the room. And all I could think of after seeing the raptor with the tornado is, I don't care where he is doing that. That cum is going everywhere. <laughs> he seeded this world. Nice. Oh, Sigma, I remember Obviously, that. he's that big. Yeah, what? You remember uh, uh, fucking 14-4 porn? Waiting for it to download one fucking row at a oh, time. Oh, yeah. It's being old. It's being old. <laughs> to fucking <laughs> to cable internet, mm. orgasming faster every day. Since you're old enough, to, you might remember Kung Fu Sex. Oh my God, are you That's talking about the animated? It's not even animated. Oh, you're talking about the live action the like string. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah, the rope. That's that's amazing. It was like, uh, like yeah, exactly, uh, flying monkey. I'm uh, not not flying monkey. What's it called? Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Yes. Iron monkey type kung fu sex, and it was just the greatest fucking thing ever. <laughs> See now, I love shit like that. Coda, oh, I'm not familiar with it yet, but I'm going to be right after this. Let me see. Let me see which one. Uh, Coda wants to know if. Uh, we're aware of dragons fucking cars on Reddit. Yes. Oh, you I, are. <laughs> well, I I know the original. I've seen the original pictures. And that 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 kind of caught on. Like oh, that was pretty big. And then there was a really good GIF of a 3D model of a dragon like just railing a car. That's the one I've seen a billion times. That's the one I was actually talking about. Okay. Yeah. You know okay. What I'm that about? I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That picture showed up everywhere. Oh, of course. Oh my god, a dot matrix print. What is wrong with you, Sigma? I love it. But that's what you're And Rusty? Hell yeah. That's what your tornado reminded me of. That is. That's, that's exactly, yes. That is basically how it all works. Because I remember her spinning and she's like, woo. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that was an amazing video. Anyway. Reminiscent about old porn. Yeah, with, that's. Oh, two old queers. Yeah. How did the dragon show start today? Mm, old porn. Old ah, porn. Bingo. Across, Welcome to Alkalize Old Porn. It's got like the nice knit crochet Ooh. intro. Oh my god. Can I get a fucking fleshlight cozy? cozy? Co oh. Just just a, a hand knitted cozy for the just put it over. Oh, really it's cute. time. Yeah. Tea co a tea cozy. Yay. I mean, I, if you get if you get it for your fleshlights, I get it for my uh, dildos too. Just like, just like. Uh, Hello, gunsmith. You've seen how they put it on uh, golf clubs, right? Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Exactly. Oh, don't forget, that's how we move drugs. All the brokers oh, where I worked, what? they would hide it in their golf bags inside the heads of the clubs because they would always take the clubs out. Yeah. With little baggies of stuff in, in the... Wait, what are they going to do? Take the socks off all the clubs? Mm. No, no, they usually don't do that until the one time when they did, and I laughed my ass off. It would be so cute if you had the Sona of... The head of the Sona as the sock car for the dick that you're about to use. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You get it. Anyway. Oh my God, QQH. We're just we're, we're just about wholesome family fun here at the Dragon Show. Maggie, that's fucking hysterical. Just different kinds of family. What? That time my dad found a picture of a horse cock dildo and told me the real thing is way bigger than 15 inches. <sighs> oh man. Oh, wild card, dear God, hell yeah. What? Wild's cars got me beat. I've been using computers since 1977. Started with Apple II Plus and TRS-80 Model 3. God damn, Wild Card 9. Amazing. I still remember having to go to my computer class when we were in, because uh, we did have computers in my uh, community school. Okay. Back, I'm talking about like fifth, sixth grade. And they're like, all right, today we're going to teach you programming, kids. Like, okay, what's this? 10. Type word yes. Twenty. Yes. Go to ten. Yes. There we go. You've programmed kids. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We did it. And then I got a TI eighty two calculator and realized it was worth it to learn that level of coding. Oh wow! Did you ever have to do TI eighty two or eighty four in your? They didn't teach coding in my school until high school, and then that was COBOL. Oh, you went right to COBOL. We just went to race it right to COBOL. Ooh, that sounds difficult. Oh yeah, no programming until COBOL in like junior high, junior year in high school, I believe. That's yeah, I that sounds hard. Yep. But now, my apologies. My question to you would have been: Did you ever have to use like a TI eighty two or eighty four calculator? Yes, we finally got one in our senior year of high school. Oh, okay. So you're you were after me. See, I had uh, I had the advantage of needing that the freshman year, uh, and that's they wouldn't what. Let us. Really? Yes. 
Were you you were still in the time of oh you're not going to have a calculator so don't use a calculator. It might have oh, been right on that threshold. But you also probably were, you were in the normal math classes, right? Oh yeah, I was in yeah I was I was just in public school. See, I think we had to use them because we were already doing stuff in like matrices. So was, a lot of our stuff you actually needed a calculator for, unless you were my fucking physics professor, Ophiara, who could do logarithms in his head. Fuck you, you genius asshole. No, but you are right. That is when we need the, the when we were doing sine curves and all that kind of shit, finally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I loved so, mine and the programming that we learned because that's the programming, that go to 10 and that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's what's on the TI-82. So we had classes. Uh, my my physics class was by far the worst one. Uh, Cause he understood, like he was older, but he was enough with it where he knew what the calculators were. So he would go through your uh, calculator before only like major tests, so like three, four times a quarter, mm -hmm. to make sure you didn't have notes in there. But we all had games. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I told you this one, right? Uh huh. Guess the number. No, I don't know. Guess the number. I coded a game. Guess the number. Nice. Oh, it was higher, That's lower, really higher, cool. lower, higher, lower, and sooner or later you get the number. It was a number between one and a thousand. If you typed in the number, I don't remember, it was a random number, like 312, it doesn't That's matter. That's really cool. If you typed in that number, it went to all my notes. It's how I hit him. Oh. So he would see a game. Like, he he was never so bad that he'd go into the game and make sure it works, but in my mind, like, that's fucking Ophiara. He will totally do that. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, no, that got me through physics class, because... <sighs> The problem with a genius teacher in high school is sometimes they forget that not everyone is a genius. And it was a bitch of a class. I really, like, I loved the class, hated the class at the same time. It was a yeah. little bit too much. Oh, yeah. But having the notes on your uh, on your calculator, yeah, that works. Oh, I barely, I think that was the last thing I, thing I took was... Gunsmith, I'm checking all that now. Go ahead. I don't know. My last math class involved a lot of using the calculator and... Uh, whatever that was, and I think you're right. I think it was, I don't think it was physics. It was something similar to that. But anyway, uh, I would always use the calculator for uh, either Keep snake going. or those going down the 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 the, the 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 hallway to the single, and you could you could go each one perfectly. Remember yes, that? the tunnel. Yes, that was I remember I that one. I I could get crazy streak on that. So I love shit like that. Oh my god! But you played. Like drug wars. And stuff I like played that. drug wars all the time. Oh uh, honestly, it's probably what started my love of uh, trading. Because mm -hmm. don't forget, in drug mm -hmm. wars, one of the things you did was buy and sell. It was like basic stock market nonsense. But you could learn the game, buy a ton of quaaludes, wait till they hit what you already knew was the max the calculator would ever let it get to. Wait for that to happen, hold on to them, and sell it all. Holy it's shit. like, okay, I'm rich now. And then I got hit by a train. Ready? Ready. Here's to you, here's, here's to, to me, forever, forever friends, we shall, shall be, and if, if we, we ever disagree, disagree fuck you, you here's, here's to me. me. Dude, yeah. thank you so much, Gunsmith. I'm going to quick go through the chat, everyone. So sorry about that. We got into our own little conversation, uh, yeah. and we were on the wrong page to see your uh, uh, the highlighted and, and that level of chat. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. If anyone's missing something they redeem points for, please, please let us know. Uh, Zanny, talk for a minute while I just get caught up. All right, if we're doing alkalized old porn, I want a crocheted intro with a uh, needlepoint. There's a little, there's a little picture. It's instead of it says bone, sweet bone. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, you get it. Oh yes, here's my. You know what's funny about? Not, it wasn't porn, but you remind me with the all the things bound up like that. I know yeah. I mentioned it before on the show. Hi, to Cal. But one of the last things we did. Uh, my senior year of high school was my friend got all of his fucking video game magazines. He was one of those like me. He had a shit ton of uh, video game magazines. And so just, just piles and piles. Oh, hell yeah. Those you are the best. And we, did, and we had a bonfire in the backyard. We burned them and it was great. I still have my one for Final Fantasy 1. Oh, I yeah? still have that magazine somewhere in my parents' house. Oh yeah, I have probably played Final Fantasy one four or five times, trying to get through with the uh, white mage uh, three three black mages, one white mage team, and it is just ridiculous. Also, we have a lot of stuff. Oh, we shoot. are about to get caught up. First off, love's in the air, and second off, we have two minutes of cobalts with no swearing. Oh my god, we have to talk about our old porn. We have to talk about oh, our old porn. God. No swearing. Um, well, my granddaddy, hold on, 
passed out his old porn. Oh yeah, your granddad passed uh, yeah. out his porn. Yeah, it was a, it was a, 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 a baby shower gift for me. Oh <laughs> yeah, that was a baby. They're like, give this, you gotta start him off right. Yes, yeah. Show them the porn. What was yours? What was the medium on yours? Mine was a rock. Uh, it was, Hi, little Boba. It we won't like, do these voices too long. We're so sorry. This is just a thing we have to do. The medium on mine was quite spicy, actually. Uh, oh, no, that's yeah. not what I meant by medium, but oh, good okay. work. Yeah, yeah. It's just like they took the, the dildo and shoved it in my mouth, and it was spicy. It was weird. Okay. Uh, that was a hot dog. Oh, that, that makes sense now. Yeah, that's how okay. we eat. You know how you get those flashbacks wrong in your head? I thought yeah. it was just... I just thought we were going to the ballpark and eating dicks all day. No, no, that's not what we do at the ballpark. Are you sure? No. Oh, okay, because what, what, when we go to the Gold Bowl ballpark, there's a trough. You know, his name is, his name is Steve. Steve the trough. And he's like, hello. Hello. Like, hey, Steve. We're like, and you know, you have to be like, like, you, you know, first people will get it first. I go, don't worry, he's, he's happy. He's having a crazy of a ball. He's having a grand old time. Steve the trough. Steve the pea trough. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember going to the ball games when I was a kid. Oh, Little yeah? cobalt sitting in the stands, waiting to get that ball hit right at me. Oh. But that ball, you know what it was? What's that? Tinier cobalts. Oh no. That's right. You get born to run. You're the ball. It's okay, we're very durable. And you know, you, you should be able to see, see it coming because if you hear that, ah! you know, you, it, if you get hit by it, it's kind of your fault. Are you going to go here and go in the ball? Yeah, well, we do that for deaf kobolds. You always want to oh, hear yeah. the ball coming. <laughs> Got it. And time. Okay. Little Boba, welcome to the madness. Thank you for joining the chat. Little Boba wants to know. Yes, I do. Big Ben, shut up. Mm. But, uh, they want to know what's your favorite cheese. Oh, Gouda. You 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 do like uh, kind of like your smoked Gouda, don't I you? I love smoked Gouda. Uh, my God, I love my Brie. Mm. Oh, Brie, Brie all the way. Brie mode, Brie mode all the way. Uh, mm -hmm. Not kidding, though. We do have two large pieces of grilling cheese inside that might be with dinner tonight. I might make the world's most decadent grilled cheese sandwich. Ooh, that sounds good, honestly. Oh, hell yeah, B. I, lo I, love, I love your decadent version of the thing. In fact, I think I challenged you. Retro, thank you so much for the subscription. You're amazing, thank my you. friend. If you don't mind me Cheers. mentioning what I challenged you with. Absolutely, go ahead. Okay. Mm. I challenge Alkali to make a decadent hamburger macaroni and cheese because my mom used to always make them. I guess she pretty enjoyed it, but like, it's usually something you just do. You know what I'm You're saying? talking you about the just... hamburger helper with yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. We had that when I was growing up, and it's a very comfort. Like, you know oh, that flavor. Food. But, uh, and uh, obviously, when you're a kid, fine. Even when you're an adult, I still have it from time to time. It's such a one note thing. I will absolutely make a ridiculously decadent uh, cheeseburger okay. mac for you. I'm curious to see how you do that. That's, that's, uh, that'll be fun. Pandas, I'm annoyed by that as well. What's that? <laughs> oh, oh, awesome, little Boba. That's actually kind of cool. Wait, Boba, what are some of the other answers you got? What are some like the really interesting ones? Because I'm a foodie. I love my cheese, but there's nothing like the creaminess of it, especially taking the brie. I've made this for you. Mm. When you wrap the brie in like phyllo or, uh, or uh, uh, what do you call those? Um, croissants. And bake them in the oven and it just oh, turns into that. Yeah. yeah, I've made that for you. I know that. Yeah, you definitely opened my eyes to more things that have exist in food. I didn't even think, no. Yeah, yeah, you were There was uh, a filo dough. I thought that was filo dough, filo dough. I thought that was just something. Filo dough. Yeah. Filo dough, filo dough, filo dough. Filo dough here. Hey, filo dough. Filo dough queer. Hey. Filo dough. Filo dough here. Okay, filo queer, filo Oh, my God. All right, we're done. Filo dough. Can we just do the whole classic... Uh, that is actually something I put in the very first Saturday morning cartoons because it's such a classic. Which one? Oh, oh, the Barber of Seville from from. I think you're on the right run. The the, the singing yeah, dog with the with the with the which magic. Pulls the, absolutely, the magic that is wand. one of the greatest uh, uh, Looney Tunes. One shots, yeah. Oh my god, that might be one of the all time greats. I will always watch that Hell yeah. one. Hell yeah! Seriously, <laughs> uh, Zanny. Hmm? 
<clears throat> ready? No, what? Are you ready? Okay. I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a doggy, doggy, dog, and I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, 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 I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a doggy, doggy, dog, and a doggy, 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 dog, dog, dog. He's a dog, she's a dog, he's a dog, 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 dog. Does anyone know that song? It happened again. Every time I finish wrestling, I watch wrestling uh is it's a website, and it throws up a shot of a dog. With that classical song. And it just, just says pups. It's so amazing. It's so every time. Every time. X and Div! Hi, X! Dude, little imaginary bat. How you doing, bud? Uh, I don't think... Oh, well, now I'm starting to think they're real. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Gunsmith, my apologies. What do you mean you're not allowed to do questions anymore? You can always question. Yeah. Hello, Sue. I see you. Hello, I Sue. see you, Sue. Oh. Uh, I'm a dog. I'm, I'm a, a dog. dog. I'm, I'm a doggy doggy dog. 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 Oh, oh my God, that that song. Stop. All right, we are about half an hour in. It is time. Uh, we want to kind of move this a little bit later in the show so more people can be involved. Everyone, if you just give us a minute or two, we'll be right back to the show. But it is time. We want to thank all of our patron supporters, making sure that my microphone is on. Got we are it. good, yes. and desktop audio is so low. Yeah, Perfect. Right. A huge thank you to our patron supporters, namely Mama T, Nikolai White Cheddar Hair, Auto Fox, Dr. Larks, Eddie the Weather Fox, Erner, Erwolf, Peter the Bear, Regno, Status Fair, Tikel, Uncle Kage, Artenis, Vlupus, Beaten, Buddy, Good Boy, Cosmic, Deadly Kitten, X and Div, Quicksome, Mephitida, Green Drag 13, Hawkfeather, Maggie Holt, New Dark Cloud, Pandas, Richter, Sasha Whitefur, Seal, Shoe Can Flash, Silver Gotham on Skyer, Skylar Ringtail, Two Plantains, Lux Virtus, Albert T. Bear, Bassett, Celeste, Flat Facts, John Rivetti, Mikhail, Pafor, QM, Slippery Stallion, Sale Rice, Sully, Tom F., Viju, Willie, Yash. And let's not forget our strike of posers. Petrov, Neutrino, Fluff, Dragor, Tobotter, Briggs Buckingham, Nisbet, Tuscat, Magic Jag, Gray, Fox, and Tekel, Coda Masters, Connie Wolfwich, Beaton, Ziggy, Foxmore, and the always amazing Sue and Benny. Thank you all so much for your support it really means the world to us guys if you would like to be part of this don't forget every month zanny will do character art for you it in fact right now on our patreon if you are part of that 40 dollar level zan has a question out for you asking you what you would like your art to look like this month we're in the middle of creating it please 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 get on there and sign up make sure that we know what you're looking for yeah and this this month's uh theme is uh cut a rug so if you like a certain outfit from a dance or a certain dancing outfit or a certain pose of the dance you want to do, let me know. And I can, run, I can, I can work with that shit. <laughs> Hopefully we're not, are we still supposed to not to swear anymore? I don't know. No, we're outside okay, of the swearing. Oh we are definitely outside of the swearing. Yeah. So uh, if you have a moment, dancing please dances. uh join our Patreon at any level. Don't forget, even at the $1 level, you can join us for our monthly movie nights. Mm -hmm. That being so, oh, wrong one. Don't forget, we will be back tomorrow, Monday, for Stardew Monday, starting at 6 p.m. This time, our guest will be somebody from Boozy's stream, and then next Sunday, we will pick the guest for our stream, and that'll be the final Stardew Monday. Let's Monday this week, Stardew Monday. Monday next week, our guest, Stardew Monday, and then that's it. Stardew Monday is gone for a little bit. Uh, heroic Hump Day, I just realized we don't need this anymore because we are back to normal. What are these? Qu Sorry, everyone, I'm fixing things. My Apologies. Oh, my bad. There we go. No, that's okay. I didn't notice it. Uh, heroic Hump Day. Yes, please. Uh, we're going to talk to all of you about that. We don't know if we want to move the time for Heroic Hump Day back to 7 if we're going to keep it at 4. But don't forget, that's just our multiplayer day. So we'll get you a time on that. But Heroic Hump Day on Wednesday. And, of course, we'll be back for Billiards but Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time. But wait, there's more. After Billiards But Thursday, this Thursday, 9 p.m. Central Time, we will be sharing with all you guys the Apple. That's right. It's a Dragon Show free movie night. That is anyone, including people not on our Patreon. If you're on for Billiards But Thursday, we're going to keep the stream going, and we're going to show you the Apple, the movie that we watched at IFC with all of the rules that we had at IFC as well. That's right. Thank you so much. 
to all of our friends who kept track of the rules and made sure they got back to us. So that will be happening Thursday after Billiards But Thursday. And Sounds I think good. that's all of our announcements. Sounds good. And I will get that ad up soon so we can promote it more, so you can come watch this we'll ridiculous, there. stupid movie with us. And we hope you enjoy it as much as we did. We will crap. get there. That was a... a ma- oh, my God. Every It gets me every time. Every time I wear shades all day. Look at my nose. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see? I Alkali, see. Do you see? I see. Do you see or do you? I, I yeah, a little bit. Okay, I fucking. I have whenever I wear shades, I get I get I get reverse raccoon eyes. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I got the. You can definitely see the see the tan line on my nose. Ah, uh, I hate having mole eyes. Mole eye? Yeah, I get no. Shades everywhere. My, my I, I'm just kind of sick of the, uh, the, the the very dark circles that'll show up under my eyes every once in a while. I look like I'm dying. Oh, oh, just in general. Yeah, oh my God! Sometimes people just like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, yeah, "I think I, I don't know." Well, I I put on a little bit of a uh, 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 mascara actually, and I don't wear it too often because I, I I have eye problems. Alkali knows this all the time. My, my 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 contact will fall out all the time. Oh yeah. I have to like, or like there will be a problem. I have to rub my eye, and if I rub my eyes. You want to talk about raccoon? Oh my god! <laughs> you see where oh, I was today? Oh I was yeah. Like, oh, Zandy, did you get enough sleep? Like, yeah. I just fucking I got I got mascara under my eyes. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, like gunsmith, I that's great. Haven't slept in five weeks. <laughs> so. That's right, Boozy. Welcome back, my friend. Uh, Boozy is uh. Finding mm. out that they're going to be working from home a lot at their new job. Oh, that's wonderful. Which is kind of amazing, dude. I'm super happy for you. Oh, man. Pants Off uh, is uh, is now office casual. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, basically. I mean, yeah. Also, Retro, I see that you redeemed Question Master's Helper, so go ahead and throw that question out there. I'll be looking for your name, Retro. Thank you so much for the heads up. Thank you, Retro. Yeah, Boo, uh, and Pandas, try to join us on Thursday if you're around to rewatch yes. the movie The Apple, because that was a shit show of epic proportions. Oh, man. So what, a, what a fun time. What a silly fun time. Of course. Always. All right. All right, where's that one come that. from? Uh, right up there, viewer account. If you make an extra one on recent this? events. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do viewer account this? number. Yep. Sorry, y'all. We lost our one of our things because Get started? Us. Nope. Down. Launch and then you thank you. Got it. Okay, launch again. Got it. We have some plug in y things that lets us know how many of y'all are watching, recent events, all that stuff. And sometimes it just fucks up because you know, Chrome. I actually put in a a, our little oh wow, hi everyone. Uh, 49 is pretty good. Holy shit, yeah, holy (laughs) shit, what the hell's happening? People People are are here, people are listening to us. This is scary. Well, shit, we should talk about (laughs) stuff that happened and stuff. Like, I don't know. Little Boba, thank you so much. Like, seriously, man, thank you so much for being here. Thank Duncan, you. hello, hello, my hello, friend. Uh, Dude, gunsmith, best of fucking luck. They're in their first week of school to become an engineer. Oh, congratulations. Have fun with that. That's awesome. So we had uh, we had some fun this week. We did. Uh, we- if staff, if, or staff, Jesus Christ. I said, Chad, if you want to uh, give us a drink of water... That would be good. You know, we can... Oh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. I understand why you just did that. Well done. Well done. Very subtle. I'm very Very subtle. subtle. There it is. Hydrate. New cups. New cups. Mm. Okay, now we're going to die. Now we're going to die. Oh. We went to Michigan Renaissance Fair this weekend. There. Zanny, not uh, somebody who's gone to uh, a lot of uh, Ren fairs in their life. You've only been to like two with me, right? Yeah. And this is. The two with you? You went one one very early on in our relationship when Uh I was still going like twice a year with John. Ah, uh, yeah, then and then later, went, later, later, way later. Then way, That's way a, later. Yeah, to the same right. one, to Bristol. But this huh? time we went to Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was it was cool because like, you know, obviously you got the whole same but different vibe. I didn't wear my princess outfit. Yeah, I didn't have anything quite right, Maggie. But it did, it did give me a lot of ideas for what to wear. Definitely. 
Enjoy doing the dishes while listening to the stream, friend. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, genuinely, I uh, I didn't think I would miss it as much as I did because a lot of my LARP gear got donated to my LARPs. I, I, I gave it, uh, like, you know, I used to have a very nice... Uh, 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 leather uh, uh, chest piece to, mm -hmm. for armor at Nero. Like I kind of outgrew it. I it, it I looked like I was bursting out of it, and that if you stabbed me, it would do more damage because it was kind of like a girdle, and the flabby lance would just come out and kill us all. Nice. So yeah, I gave that one to a friend, and a lot of my old weapon reps, and just stuff like that, and mm -hmm. being back around people all wearing their costumes and just having fun. Mm. Oh, I missed it. I, I missed that. it I so that. much. I wanted to be in costume so bad. <laughs> I wanted to be back in costume. Well, it, it, it really is. I, I could see how that's like, <laughs> it's a good intro to almost the Furcon vibe. Because obviously a lot oh, of yeah. people coming back, know each other, see each other from all over, only see them, them at there. Like people I were talking to like came from, all, from Virginia, they knew people here, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, it was, no, yeah, it is a, it is a large crowd. Oh, wild card nine, go for the love of God, go! Uh, I also love how open everyone is with everyone else. Like you know, even at fur cons, I'm not going to go around with a flask. Like, hey, would you like to put your lips where mine were and drink some alcohol? Renfair were like, well, alcohol sterilizes chug. Yeah, yeah, e yeah. Every it is just wild. Hello, bad kid. No, and nobody cares. Everyone's like. There's none of that, like, oh, you're Got it, Maggie, in dorky. retro. Thank you. You know, there's just like, do whatever the fuck. You know? Oh, yeah. You gotta I was things. there in shorts. I never yeah. wear shorts, but it was, you know, 85 out, and I wanted my sassafras. I forget you get you get self conscious about wearing shorts. You look fine in a short. I do not look fine in you look shorts. look fine in shorts. I look like my legs died. They're just ghosts. It's so white. It's just not okay. Just ghost legs. Ooh, he's not tall. He's dead. I feel self-conscious when I'm in shorts, so I get it. But you look fine in shorts, seriously. <laughs> yeah, did, did, okay, after wearing the jean, after wearing jeans on the day for pool, when it was like a hundred in here, I felt so bad for you, for your legs. <laughs> alkali, alkali. Business casual, short shorts. Embrace the tuka. Oh my God, bad kid. No, I'm not embracing the Tuca. You, the, I want to see you in booty shorts. My my booty would fall out of those shorts. Too much booty, not enough shorts. That'd be a man avalanche. That is the worst avalanche. All right. Oh, the best avalanche. No. Well, best, no. Oh, the big boulders. Right. From Retro, who redeemed points, cereal before milk or milk before cereal? What? No. Cereal before cereal milk. Cereal milk, come on. Yeah, you eat the cereal, then you drink a glass of milk. I kind of... Does anyone do it the other way? Well, Wait. drink the milk and then eat the cereal? Do you do that? What of course I do. Oh, no. You think I want soggy cereal? Don't be disgusting. This is how I eat it. This is how I learned my uh, eating it fast thing. Maybe that's it. Okay, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Auto Fox, I was so tempted this weekend. You have no idea. Alkali. You have no idea. Alkali will often make a just wonderful meal, and I feel bad because I'm, like, super hungry. But I want to like show my appreciation. Like, and Alkali would turn around, just gone. I I'll never forget, like, still setting the table, turning around, and Zan's done with dinner. I'm like, hey, would you like seconds? Like, I had them. Yeah. Dang. Dang. It's really good. <laughs> Bull is last. That's right. So, yeah, no, we went to uh, the Renaissance Fair and had beyond a good time. I beyond. Bought I bought a pepper. They have high learning games one of the weeks at Red Fair. Uh, Seamus, this week at Michigan Red Fair was Viking Invasion. It was very good. Yeah, remember they said that at the opening? There was a oh, bunch of people in Viking costumes. I saw that. Yeah, so super, super fun. The atmosphere was amazing. Uh, but we were there with friends, and these friends knew everyone. Knew everyone. All the organizers down to the property manager from this Ren Fair, so we got involved in a lot of the craziness. Uh, we were late ads to the pub crawl with these two gentlemen who were just a riot. Mm. Absolute riot. One of them held a master's degree, I don't think it was in nursing, but in some kind of health care. Mm -hmm. Like, I met this guy, we said hi, I watched my friends pass him 
Not a small amount of weed. Ah! Not a small amount. Not a small amount. And he just smiled and tucked it into a, a case. Now I'm watching him standing out there with one of those Gandalf pipes just... And I can smell the smoke. And he looks over at me, smiles, turns the pipe towards me. And well, when in Rome. So we're I'm just with this guy. We're ridiculously gone. And then he goes, one moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the prop crawl. I'm like, oh, this is the organizer. Oh, my God. Like, this guy's out of his mind right now, leading us through the Ren Fair, going from bar to bar to bar with, like, 30 people getting drinks, telling stories, doing cheers. Like, this man was a brilliant performer. Everything he did was just so over the top and fun, and he kept 30 people's attention for two hours. It yeah. started at noon and went exactly to two. It was really, honestly, like a really cool study in how to keep people's attention in that environment for that small amount of time. Little tricks and all that good. Alkali. Pub crawlers! <laughs> yeah, pub. Let's get drunk! There it is. Every, I mean, people screaming this in the middle of Ren Fair. And again, like, yes, I, I do crowd control all the time, but in a room... It is no big deal to say, everyone, bring it in. Let's quiet it down. Yeah, yeah. Somebody else is about to perform. I can overtalk, but if you need to hear me, I will quiet down the room. He can't quiet down the room. He is in the middle of an outdoor space with people running around, throwing axes, cheersing, other events going on, literal live music playing. And this fucker kept the attention of 30 drunken morons. For two hours to the point where at the end, yeah, I was still there with my friends. We met a whole different group of people and we're just sharing drinks and going mm -hmm. around. I think one of them definitely wanted to fuck you. She was cute. Yeah, she was cute. Like, oh, so fun. <laughs> Alkali, how is Pennywise? Man. What's that now? Bad kid? Amazingly. Shut up. <laughs> Pub crawlers. Let's, Let's get, get drunk. drunk. You just keep hearing that all day. Oh my god! The calls and responses for, like are so good, especially yeah. for those like little environments, keeping like, keeping people's attention and shit. Like, and they would just like go on like a joke. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, before everything he did, he would tell you what he was doing because sometimes he was just talking. You didn't need to pay attention. You're with yeah, your yeah. friends, but then a joke. A oh, he's joke. About to right. A toast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was Every like, brilliant, brilliant. Mm. Seamus. The booze was not only great, our friends help in the brewing of it. I have cases of mead right next to me that we are going to start enjoying. Literally five cases of damaged mead. If the, the can got a dent in it, they put it off to the side. There were shelves of these, and they gave us five cases. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. We are going to be so drunk. And, Pandas, thank you for the bitty. Yes, uh, the Pickle Vendors, Inc., uh, yes, I succumbed to them. I couldn't, I couldn't, it was great. It was well, like three bucks. What a great amount of entertainment. Okay, so not only that, you know, did I don't know if you were actually paying attention when we got into the conversation with our large pickle vendor. No, no, where was he going? There, so we walk, if you don't know what the pickle vendors are, if you are at, uh, uh, uh if Ooh. you get dehydrated, yes, month. go drink. Say again, where it's are you? It's my month, it's September. Sorry. <laughs> well, that could have been what your art was. Take a sub position. Oh my god! Any, no, for the first, I really for this month, just everyone, just, just hike just your ass up, hike your, your ass up in the air. We were just sub poses, all sub. -po it's September. Pandas, I'm assuming you mean using Twitch. It took me a while to learn as well. Do not worry about it. Whitetail me, dear. Yes, Sue. Oh, Sue, we have so much mead for when we see you. Cannot wait. Famous, you say that's like a bad thing. <laughs> so, uh, uh, where were what we were just talking about? Oh, the pickle guy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> this one gentleman, very good at his job. Insanely good at his job. Doing the pickle barking, everything was a sexual innuendo, which when you were at uh, yes. Renaissance Fair, as long as you could say the sexual innuendo without getting the kids to look at you, you're good. You're yeah. good. And he was clever. He had some really good ones. I well, liked it. I liked oh, yeah, that. no, yeah. he was fun. So we're chatting with him. Of course, he's a friend of the, our friends who are there, who know everyone who works at this place. Mm -hmm. And oh. <laughs> so what do they do? 
I watched them hand over a not small amount of cannabis. And this guy just tucks it into, like, you guys are amazing. And we're just chatting and talking, and he's talking about the pickles. And he's like, oh, man, I wish you guys were here uh, a month from now. They're not ready yet. I'm like, what? He's like, well, I want to uh, bring uh, a, 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 a tub of my own. Mm. I'm like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, I, I kind of make my own pickles, uh, but I put a bunch of cannabis into the the pickling. I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, we think we got them right now about up to like the equivalency of smoking four or five joints from eating a pickle. I'm like, how does it taste? He's like, oh, the brine totally destroys the weed taste. It tastes like a pickle. I'm like, it's a stoner pickle. It's a stoner pickle. Like, you can make stoner pickles. Like, yeah, I can make stoner pickles. Like, how much are you going to sell those for? He's like, well, 25 until I get caught. And then 50 because I'll have to put these guys in on the scam. Like, what the fuck? That's amazing. What the fuck? I cannot wait for pot pickles. Pot pickles are amazing. Yeah. Oh, my God. I got I to gotta go back to this place. I got to find this guy immediately. Like, hey, hey, pot pickles. Trans Loves in the air. A tra mm. It's a trans femme stoner's delight. Holy fuck. Pot right? pickles? Are you kidding me? Holy shit. <laughs> Brian Joanna, what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, no, I want to see if this works, because, I mean, the guy knew what he was talking about. We talked, uh, we talked grow for a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, he's, he's, uh, he knows what he's doing. That's where's amazing. Your, hey. Where's your goblet? Give me more to my goblet. Chalice, I thought it was. Oh, uh, you're right. This is a chalice. I wanted to get a nicer. I go, it went with the, uh, you chose poorly Pot kind pickles. of glass. Yeah, the carpenter's no. cup. It is the carpenter's cup. <laughs> I love it. I love the little burn, Bernie. I love that you have a not burn on yours. Turn yeah. that towards the camera. Like this, this just gives that cup so much life. I think it's so cool. Oh, she very much like encouraged me to get it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, oh that's yeah, super cool. Well, you can tell it's like actually wood. Oh yeah, that, no, no, these are know? hand carved. Uh, oh, we yeah. met, we met the person who made them. Uh, they were one of the people in there, and I love them for this. So this place, when you purchase an item from them, any item, they christen it. So the two people running the stall, uh, this wonderful, wonderful older woman who was just a total sweetheart and gave me so many hugs, and a younger gay gentleman who was super into the woodworking and reminded us that until he's dead, we can bring these back here. Like, if Zanny drops theirs off the top of the car, he said. And I looked at him like, oh, do you know Zanny? That's really nice. Uh, they go into the back and they grabbed a big old uh, jug, like an actual, like, looked like handmade clay jug, and started pouring what I think was... Lagalulin 12, like a 12 year old scotch. Mm. And that's how they christened all the. And it wasn't we both bought one, so it was they. No, they christened mine, so everyone took a shot. They christened theirs, everyone took a shot. They're just. Sh oh, I love Ren Fairs! Mm. I love Ren Fairs. Pop and lock. Pop and lock. Wait, okay. Pop and lock. Mm. Oh. oh. Oh God! Uh, so no, the good. I, I had a great time. I definitely want to go back sometime. It was very. It was a lot of fun. No, it was. It was uh, kind of amazing. Uh, I I do love getting into a Ren Fair. It, it it is a blast. I highly recommend anyone who's never been to a Ren Fair. All I can say is, pack a cooler, put it in the back of your car, bring some cash, enjoy snacks and stuff around the fair. Go if you're looking to save money. Go out to your car. Have a sandwich or two in the cooler. Have some beer in the cooler. Get your game out on the parking lot. Everyone tailgates. If you're if you're a Ren Fairer of, of no, you've done it. You're going to tailgate. You'll save a lot of money. But still, snack and have fun in there. You know, yeah. the turkey legs are an experience. I'll tell you this right now. They're not the best thing at a Ren Fair. Mm. There's so many amazing things at a Ren Fair. Yeah, a lot of people say the turkey legs were the... Over, overrated, actually. Just a big hunk of meat that's not too yeah. good, actually. Yeah, it's a hunk of meat. It's got yeah. barbecue sauce. I mean, here's the thing. It's filling and cheap. Yeah. They had scotch eggs there, too. I did not uh, participate, but God, do I love scotch eggs. Uh, oh, man. Uh, similarly, uh, oh, where do I go? No, that felt too unrelated. <laughs> My brain went, nee, 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 you know. You, but I do want to go back. You pinballed all over the place. I pinballed and, all I over understand. the place and was about to start on something completely different. But anyway, I I, I want to go back there and sometime and like do the, like the spear throwing or the axe. That was always always fun. Agreed. But again, 
those are like even looking at the axe throw and stuff like that, you can tell that it's so subpar oh, to yeah. what you and I already did at like the professional axe Big throwing time. place. Big like time. that's yeah, it's you throw them a few bucks, you get to throw a few knives or axes. Uh, they had spears at this one. They have archery. It's all fun. Don't get me wrong, it is fun. But there's better places. Oh, if to, you want to go axe throwing, go to an axe throwing. Yeah, place. like legitimately, yes. it's night and day. Uh, when you go to a professional axe throwing place, they have the right kind of wood. They wet it down. Your the axes aren't sharp, but the way they do the wood, it might actually have a chance to stick these had holes in them like i was waiting for an axe to go through and just kill the guy standing behind the booth I, oh no this this definitely had that vibe of i'm just at a shitty medieval carnival trying to win a stuffed animal yeah like and i kind of dig that i don't know why uh, no i'm not so yep yeah, absolutely uh, well similarly there was like the test of strength thing but you know like it's like your great america and yeah five, yeah it's the year 505 I don't duncan know. it's super fun <laughs> and like was oh it, yeah, Sue. I, and I also love always the uh, the constant like little sideshows that are happening. The sideshows are. Yeah. I mean, the fact that the booths are shows. Yeah. The glass True. blowing booth has a gentleman sitting outside with this weird cane sticking out from his crotch. What it actually is is the propane shooting the flame that he's going to make all of the glass uh, pieces right in front of you, and he just works all day. That's what he does all day. He makes these glass pieces while sitting in a chair where everyone can watch. Uh, Sue says at the Pennsylvania Ren Fair, it has a blacksmith. Uh, Bristol has a blacksmith, too, where they actually make stuff. It's so cool. It's so cool. The live music is always fun. Hell, yeah. Live oh. music, live uh, comedy, weird things. I love that. Isn't the Mud People, isn't that like a classic thing? They just like Mud fucking show. I've never seen it actually. Mud, you've never seen Mud Show? Nope. Mud Show's like it's it's everywhere. It's classic for it's a just, reason. It's, it's funny just, and stupid. Okay. Yeah. No, it's just dumb. Okay. It's, I love it's it. Fair. Yeah. It's it's super dumb and fun. It's just a bunch of guys. Ah, we got mud all over each other. That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah, like yeah, we're 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 mud wrestlers. It's a show. It's super clever. Oh. You know, audience participation. Okay. Yeah, the mud people and the laundry ladies. <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh. Cat lover, that's amazing. What was that? Uh, their uh, high school history teacher had his own blacksmith's forge. Oh, jeez. Laundry ladies are amazing. I agree. Squatland. So, uh, what else did we do this weekend? Well, first off, we didn't just go for uh, for for that. We actually got to spend a little bit of time with our friend who's in the chat right now, Sigma. Mm -hmm. Sigma, thank you so much for hosting us this weekend. We got there the night before, and Sigma was kind enough to host us. Uh, made some unbelievable chili. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Uh, and we ended the night, and I can't talk about this too much, but we ended the night with a movie. Hmm. We ended the night with a movie, and that movie is going to show up at an MST3K because we were in a room with a bunch of people who aren't major movie buffs. Yeah. Uh, and they sat there, and they enjoyed this very funny, uh, very kind of silly, enjoyable-as-shit movie. Nick Cobalt, oh, thank hello. you for following more Cobalts. More oh, no. Cobalts. Oh, no. What? All the Cobalts. It's a swarm. It's a swarm. I'm gonna die to one d4 at a time damage. Oh no! Can't you? Bet you can't eat out just one. God damn it, Sam! <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Hello. Oh, hi, Nick. Welcome to the chat, my friend. Hello, fellow bold. How you do? So, uh, so we're sitting there watching this movie, and me and Zan are dying because we realize it's not a shot-for-shot -shot remake, but it is a remake. Of a very famous movie. Can we even say what the remake what's the I remake don't think of? We can. I don't think we can either. Y'all, we just have to you just have to know. We we're there are moments, me and Alka like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is just dying. And Sigma yeah, yeah, yeah. is just looking at us like we're crazy. Like that that was a little funny. It's like, you're not getting the joke. The joke is only for people who've seen the other movie. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll jump off that topic now because we're going to show you this movie and uh yeah. Yeah, it'll yeah, be a lot of fun. It, what a what a great job. That what was a great fun. job. That was super fun. Uh what's okay. They're yelling at each other, mm. as they should. That's right, chat. Entertain yourselves. Yes, <laughs> I love this. Yes, fight for our pleasure. Yes, <laughs> I will oh, drink. This is what happens when you give us medieval cups. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> I remember someone saying, I don't know if the king is just really good at being a king or a dick. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I could see that. I mean, like, you know. <laughs> I loved our friends. Hydrate. Hydrate. Uh, one thing I do at every Ren Fair I go to, because it's one of my favorites, is I always grab a bag of the uh, uh, candied uh, walnuts. Mm -hmm. And at this particular... Uh, Hydrate. At this particular Renaissance Fair, yes. the booths with all the nuts were uh, scattered throughout. They must have been sponsored by the Ren Fair themselves. And were all called the Queen's Nuts. And every time I said I was going to go there, I'd go... Alkali, be careful. She is. She really is. And then I saw the queen performing. The oh. the person who has decided uh, the, the the Ren Fair decided to be the queen. Oh, oh God! The energy of that person. Yep, she's a crazy person. I loved it. That's kind of great. Uh, it's yeah, just like, that's what you gotta do. That's gotta be like freeing. Oh right. Like holy crap. Uh, yeah, no, she she had her own corner where she was telling stories. Uh, the queen was entertaining. Like, it was actually pretty cool. She had the kids' corner, and she was telling these goofy, super high-energy stories. Like, hell yeah. Good for her. Oh, yeah, no, it was amazing. It was that amazing. Stuff. That's so cool. Like, ah, uh, yes, hell I yeah, tell lots of stories and whatnot, and I sell nuts. Yeah. yeah. It's like, and I sell it's, nuts. And I sell nuts. No, again, again, uh, I, I cannot recommend going to a Ren Fair. If you've never been, find your local Ren Fair and go. You don't need to go in costume. You will be accepted immediately. It is a lark and a half, and just remember, just like in the furry fandom, be open and ready to make friends. Uh, do things. Go to shows. Talk to people. You will make friends, and sooner or later, somebody will offer you a drink. Go ahead and take it. Fuck it. You only live once. Unless you're Hindu, in which case, keep going. Fuck oh you. Oh, my God. Simpsons. That's a good one. It's it's one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> well, you only live once. It just cuts to a poo. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm like, fuck yeah. Oh Amazing. God. Amazing. Good times. <laughs> Ta-cha. Oh, my God. I'm from Brazil. Where the nuts come from. Hmm. The very good tasting nuts. Mm. Oh, Maggie, I would have loved to go in costume. I just don't have it anymore. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them. A new Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh, anyway, you know, someone was mentioning uh, real. I don't even know why. They mentioned Danny Kay as being like the Prince Jester of dancing or whatever. And it makes me. It, it kind of actually made me think. Did you ever watch those? Like, did you ever watch. Hell yeah, Sigma. What do you call it? Like, Singing in the Rain. Absolutely. Start yeah. To finish and stuff like that. Or like any of those like classic dance, holy shit, there's a bunch of stuff going on at once kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Old 50s. Uh, wow, this actually took a lot of effort to do. <laughs> yes. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because like, as oh. old school and out of date those are, they're pretty fucking cool. Well, what, what's it called just did one that we were blown away by? Uh, God, it was uh, Hail Caesar? They had a musical dance routine in one of the. They did. That was amazing. That was pretty much like that an was, homage to all that kind of stuff. It was an homage yeah. to the overly complicated multi dancer. Yeah, no, that was an outstanding dance sequence. Was it with a bunch of gay sailors or yes. something? Yeah. Yes. That was great. Oh, B knew it. B knew it yeah. immediately. Hell yeah, B. That was awesome. Oh, my and, God. And, uh,. Uh, as I was mentioning something. Hell dancing. yeah, retro. If you want a good one to watch, make them laugh. You remember that? Routine had a bunch of weird room spinny stuff. Very, yes, uh, uh, that's um, isn't that to make him laugh or no? Is that something different? Where Fred Astaire was dancing on the ceiling, and shit? maybe it is. Okay, maybe you're maybe right. Maybe you're one. right. Gunsmith will be watching for you to come through. Go ahead and ask that question. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, Donald O'Connor. Oh, okay. Thank you, T'Challa. Uh, they're saying a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I, was, I, I would see it in like film class and still and stuff like that. But anywho, I have a question. More like, would you eat it or throw it away? Heat up cheese in a frying pan. Throw on chocolate Nutella. Stir it for a few minutes. Okay, so Gunsmith Jack. So that would be a very sweet and nutty addition because uh, the hazelnut in the Nutella. So what cheese would I be using to put in a sweet and nutty? Addition, and I'd say it'd be more like a buttercass. 
Like, I could see cheeses working with that. You'd either want it to increase it by giving it more of a creamy texture or counterbalance it and get, like, uh, uh, if you were to do a chalk. Oh, pop and lock. Thank you. Ah, the, the hard part is that chocolate and hazelnut is so strong. I'm trying to think of a cheese. I actually say, like, a Lindenburg, uh, 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 yeah, Lindenburg? a really heavy, flavorful cheese might mm. work with that. I'd, I'd have to play with that one. You gotta be careful about the Lindenburg. And it just disappear. I have a login for this. What the hell, Vegas? Your Lindenburg would just disappear, <sighs> and then you tell everyone it's gone, and it's a big thing. Oh. <laughs> Tichal says, "Royal wedding scene with Fred Astaire dancing on the ceiling." Yeah. That's super cool. Uh, biggest, I don't think we have seen a funny thing happen on my way to the forum. Because uh, somebody just think asked that. I either, no. Yeah, I don't think we've seen that one. I randomly looked up, uh, we got trouble. Boys, we got trouble. I, lo I loved, that I was just wandering team, through the house and I heard that. For pool. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. when we had the internet out. Yes. That's, uh, okay, so yeah, we could talk about that for a bit here. Oh my god. Uh, Cat lover, I apologize. I saw that above. That's hysterical. Hmm. A car's weakest part is the nut holding the steering wheel. Ha. Shut up. Well, you're a bad driver. I am a bad driver. It's okay. I'm not a great driver. I'm just a distance driver. That's fair. How, oh, my God. Yesterday on the way home, it was a shame. We were at the Ren Fair. We wanted to stay all day. It was a five-hour drive home. We had to leave. Like... We got there at 7 a.m. and started tailgating and drinking because our friends knew that we were going to have to leave eventually. So it was like, day drinking, ahoy. Uh, we, we were drunk going on the pub crawl, drunk and stoned. Oh, my God. Yesterday's a blur. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, I, if I were to run fair, maybe I'd just constantly like just drive a cart and get into accidents. Like, oh, no, and exchange information just all over, <laughs> all over town. B, now that one I love. Waiting for the authorities to come over in their own carriage and run into theirs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sus little wolf, welcome to the chat, my friend. Hello, welcome to the madness. Dude, enjoy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Dude, we're, we're, I love when new people show up here. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. That's great. I don't know. Yeah, we must have like, put up the, the dragon signal or something. <laughs> Thundercats. Well, I do love, we're talking about the uh, advertisement oh. we want to put up on, uh, what is it, FA and E621? Yes. And, and we're going back and forth. Let us know what you think is funnier, because I think Zanny's is funnier. Uh, mine was, uh, hey, the Dragon Show bought a banner ad. Are you happy now, Dad? Or, I'm sorry, does this count as a real job now, Dad? And then Zanny came up with. It's just us staring really, really intently at... Our eyes, just very big, us staring at you. The Dragon Show. We're watching you masturbate. I, I hate how much I love yours. I hate how good that is. <laughs> well, you know. Anyway. Oh, my fun. God. <laughs> love history of the world. Love history of the Maggie, I do, too. It's funny as shit. I think it's great. I think it's fun. Yeah. We'll see. Oh. Use the puppets. Oh, my God, Maggie. Maybe, maybe. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, Tichal, the railroader is insane. The fact that he did that is mind-blowing. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, dude, dude. Buster Keaton is, uh, is a psychopath. Like, There's hats reason. off to that man. There's a reason Jackie Chan always says Buster Keaton was his hero. Oh, yeah. Like, it makes sense when you watch the, the crazy crap he's done. If you don't know who we're talking about, the thing that you've probably seen Buster Keaton in is a very famous, uh, uh, you've probably seen the front of the house falling with the upper window falling perfectly around a guy, like the entire front of a house falls down and a guy barely survives. That's Buster Keaton. And that gag is so well known that when I went to see the play that goes wrong live, a live show, one of their final gags of the show was the entirety of a three-piece set. Bam, 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 with three actors standing perfectly to go through the window. The entire audience was on their feet to have a three-way Buster Keaton homage. Fuck me. Fuck me. That was incredible. Yes, Sue, I miss you. The child, that sounds awesome. 
uh, there's a there's a documentary about like the making of one of those Buster Keaton things. And that's true. That's really cool. I'm curious about how the hell they did all that. Sue, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you talking about how they? I'm sorry, uh, how they did all what? I missed uh, Buster it. Keaton's kind of stuff. I don't know. Oh, oh, they just did it. It's horrifying. Yeah, of course. It is fucking horrifying. Yeah, that man. Is that what it is, Tikal? Okay, that yeah. No, I love that stuff. Watching him, what it took to uh, uh, to to do the railroad scene. Uh, fuck you. Like no, never in a million years. What a horrifying experience that had to be. I believe that that he pioneered the action comedy because back then, fucking movies they didn't know what it was. Yeah, and that was funny. Oh yeah. Like when a medium. That's actually kind of fun. Honestly, when a medium first comes out, and you can you can kind of check this with anything, like movies, VR, even video games when they first hit 3D, yeah, or like get a new amount of graphics they can pump out. Like with the first 3D games for PlayStation, there's just a lot of them. Like, all right, we're just trying this and see if it works, because <laughs> like they never had the ability to do those things before. So you get a lot of these weird experimental games. I think was kind of what I'm saying. And, like, much with Buster Keaton, okay, much with Buster Keaton, like, there was, uh, I believe, I don't know if you ever heard, there was a movie where the train was coming right at the camera and everyone freaked out in the theater because they thought, they were not used to that. They were not re- used to a camera coming at you and everyone, like, would get out of their seats and like, they, they gotta get out of the theater. <laughs> and that's kind of amazing, honestly. Uh... I love that shirt that's got the animals on it. Is this one? It's uh, This is from uh, Anthrocon Online 2021. This is our old little... Uh, when we went down to AC when there was no Anthrocon that year and we just did the uh, recordings with that amazing equipment, amazing, uh, amazing uh, 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 camera crew and everything. We had all the... You can actually see it still if you look up Anthrocon Dragon Show. It's usually the one of the first ones that pops up. We had all the multiple camera angles, and Boozy, and QM were there, and Sue and Benny. It was kind of insane. Uh, actually, I don't know if Benny was there. I know what Sue was. But anyway, when Gerdura hit Japan, people flood the theaters? Holy shit. I want to believe that. And, like, that's very possible, because, you know, people react weirdly to things, and that's kind of awesome. I hope that's true. Like, oh, I will admit... I was scared after I saw. <sighs> I was scared after I saw The Ring and I saw Blair Witch Project because it got to my brain. And so I was scared of the like, fucking Blair Witch or the goddamn Ring shit after I saw it. It's a good movie. It's good shit. It's a very good movie. But they were talking about how uh, people fled the theaters from, from Godzilla, like when it was out. Oh, that's, see, I love shit like that. Yeah, me too. I was talking about how, like, the train would come at the camera, like, when it, when oh, it first yeah. came out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one of the very first, absolutely. Yeah, you've heard of that. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, Blair Ring Project. Ooh, ooh. Uh, biggest, uh, we have a pair of movies that we plan on doing for October. Yes, for Roxas. Halloween month, so we will probably... Roxas, how you doing, bud? Hey, Roxas. Uh, we will be doing two of my favorite, favorite... I, I wouldn't even call them Halloween movies. They're just good. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. In October, mm-hmm. we will do some fun... Uh, I don't know if they're scary or if they're just a good example of, of horror movies. Yeah, yeah. I mean... B. I got off them for quite a while. Like, they hit a kind of a, like a, not a renaissance, but kind of a... We're talking about horror movies? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for a while, yeah. They I, were just I, not there for a while. No, for a while, yeah. Well, for a while, they were just using the formula and putting a big scary monster, and those are fine. Like, to me, that's a popcorn movie. I'll, uh, I will gladly uh, make some popcorn and sit down and watch an old, like, Friday the 13th. I enjoy those movies for what they are. They're a bop. It's fun. But I'm talking about, like, uh, we're not going to show this one, but if you haven't seen it, uh, uh, It Follows. Mm. Now we're talking about a horror movie. Yeah. A horror movie that makes you uncomfortable. Mm. The the jump scares are very few and far between, but what it's coming down to is the psychological terror of it, and I love that stuff. Thank you, Sigma. What do we got? Uh, They they sent a chili recipe. You rock, Sigma. Thank you so much, my friend. That was very tasty. Yes. 
Uh, Roxas likes it follows. Arsenic and Old Lace. And you said that was one of your favorites. Arsenic and Old Lace is one of my all-time favorites. I might not have seen it. I would absolutely watch Arsenic and Old Lace with you. Okay. It is a classic for a reason. Okay. It's it's genuinely not what you are expecting. It's fun as shit. Fantastic. Oh my god, what a fun movie. It's one of those that you always mentioned. I, we just never got around to it. I always forget it. Well, the one that I always mentioned that we really never got around to because it's a three-hour thing, it's a mad, 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 mad world. It's still one of my all-time favorite movies that you've never seen. Right. It's such a... But, oh my god. I know of it, and I know it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is that the one with the coke... Bottle? I haven't, Roxas. I will totally watch that. Mad Mad World? Or is no, the, the one trace? with the Coke bottle is The Gods Must Be Crazy. That's what I was With the about. greatest banana gag that was it? ever. That was it. Ever. ever. Fuck you for being that clever. That's awesome. I love this. I love shit like that. But yeah, Mad Mad World? What's up? M- Ma- Pan's Labyrinth. That Sigma, that one broke me. That was a great That one. is so good. B, you're the best. You know how we saw the uh, the semi remake of the movie that we've been talking about when we were over at Sigma's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great Race is the semi. It's not even as true to form, but that is the remake with a totally different feel of Mad, 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 Mad World. Gotcha. It's the same concept, just a little different. You keep on. I forgot. I, th- I forgot to take my pills, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my HRT. I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. My apologies. Auto Fox, you're right. Rat Race is the spiritual successor to Mad, 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 Mad World. I might not have seen Great Race. Sorry, my my, uh, I got all, I got all turned around there. That's my fault, everyone. I think the only kaiju movie I've seen besides Godzilla was uh, what? What did we scream at each other? Monsters versus Robots, Pacific Rim. That's the only kaiju movie other than uh, other than that I've seen. Biggest, thank you. Now I know what we're talking about. My apologies, everyone. I was thinking of a totally different thing for The Great Race. Yeah, Great Race is awesome. Great Race is absolutely awesome. Oh, B, I forgot about that. Yeah, the pie fight. Oh, my God. Oh, QQH, we saw Pacific Rim right when it came out. Me and my friends went to the theater. We walked out of there just screaming, Monsters vs. Robots! Da, 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 da. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, but I still make the noise. I'm a, I'm a ferret. We just make noises. No, you got ferret. That's fair. B, there is no way that that's true. That's amazing. Oh my god, that that what? That would be how that movie would end. Of pie course, fight. pie fight. Well, like like as in like they like, kind of like diffuse the situation and just have a pie fight. I'm curious how that works. I, uh, uh, biggest the dire ferrets in D and D are the mounts of uh, smaller races. Uh, uh, dire ferrets are large. Uh, weasels that I believe uh, rarely goblins. Sometimes I think troglodytes, gnolls. Like you'll find smaller creatures that ride them. Gotcha. Ride bombs? What are they? Uh, 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 dire ferrets. Oh. <laughs> dire pandas. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I want to see a dire ferret. Yes, Tikel. Cobalts can ride dire ferrets. That that is a very normal one. Really? Yeah. I have to yeah. see this. Uh, I, I don't know 5.0 as well as I know 3.5, but Dire Ferrets were kind of nasty little shits because their deck score was so high, and when you're mounted, that deck score uh, transfers over to the rider. Yeah, they were a bitch. They, they, they were kind of fun. All right, Ferret, let's go get groceries. <laughs> hey, hey, Cobalt, what kind of groceries did you pick up? Jesus! Every time. Every time. What? He said he had to cut the bread. Jesus! Did you get the bread? No. <laughs> uh, oh my God! What it helps with the, with the diet, you know? You keep asking me, like, Sandy, would you go pick up some ice cream? And I just come back. Jesus! Jesus! God damn it! We're gonna cut out the fat. So speaking of doing something, and then the cobalt coming back with something totally different. So yesterday, we left to drive home at like 2 in the afternoon Wisconsin time, or Michigan time. It's like, all right, 
we need to get on the road. We're exhausted already. We've got a five-hour drive. We need to go. So we left. Uh, we get on the road. And what was it, about two hours in? So first off, I stopped drinking. Zanny cut back because we know we're leaving. But you know how it goes. A bit of alcohol in your system, all the sun walking around. Zanny is unconscious in the seat next to me. Like, just, just adorable. I'm I like, was dead to the world. You I were forgot. so dead to the world. Oh my god! I had a little bit of help on the way there. I remember, like, I was a bit, I was a bit gone. Cody, that makes me so happy. I was, I was a little, for, a little bit more. Damn it, to kill. A little but. bit more far, far gone than I thought I was. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, we. Dude. And then I was just like. <laughs> Again, and I totally understand. Like, this is, we don't normally do this. We started drinking at 7 a.m. when we got to the parking lot. Fluff, Fluff, Floof, thank you so much for that subscription. You're amazing, my friend. Thank you, Fluff. I just need to lose another 20 pounds or I'll never be pretty. Yes. Oh, my box. God. Oh, my God. My name so we, is, go ahead. <laughs> So we, we drank since 7, we went in there, we drank more, people were sharing weed with us all day. Uh, do either of us snore? Uh, Seamus, unfortunately, I have allergy problems, so it really depends. I don't normally snore, snore but I do it sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you only do when you somehow pass out on your back. Yeah. And then I just wake you up, you go to yeah. your side, and you yeah. go right back to sleep. Yeah, yeah, so for the most part, we don't, but at times. And I'm sure that's annoying when I do. Oh, sure. Like, I, I always make sure to... Like, are you dying? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's right. You, know. you recorded me once, and I was dying, wasn't I? Yeah, you were kind of dying. Eh. I think it's gotten better, maybe. I, I, I think it's gotten better, too, because I usually don't, you know, get Rec fucking roaring drunk before going to bed. Now I just get high. That's true. And I don't record you, you, <laughs> I don't record you snoring anymore. I don't think there's a problem, actually. I appreciate you not recording me snoring anymore. What if I get off on it? Damn it! <laughs> All right, fine, then feel oh, free. Oh, yeah. So we're driving home. We're about two hours uh, into the drive, two hours into a five-hour drive, and they finally, like, start moving, and, okay, they're, they're coming back, which sucks for me because I was listening to my music that they hate, and I was just like, ah, damn it, all right. And I put on other music that we both like. We just listen to Ben Folds forever. Oh, hell yeah. So we're driving, and all of a sudden, middle of nowhere, Michigan, uh, and that's the problem. Middle of nowhere, Michigan. The road now has the give, the, the, the leeway. Uh, construction all the way. Two lane. It's a four-lane road that's been divided down the middle to be two lanes going in either direction while they fix the other side of the highway. Very wide berth where the rain can get in. Torrential downpour. Like, Holy shit, no longer safe to drive, especially when I hydroplaned just for a split second. Uh, I have a I have a thing. I, I've spun out before and almost died while well, on literally New Year's Day after running a New Year's uh, event. Uh, yeah. Almost got killed by a truck when my car lost control and I spun out in the middle of a highway. Uh, so I'm terrified anytime <sighs> my car loses traction for even a second. So like, okay, we're done. There's an off ramp. We get off. It's a uh, gas station. I'm like, well, might as well just fill it up. Zanny looks on their uh, uh, dark skies, you call mm -hmm. it. Uh, six minutes till the rain lets up. No big deal. Okay, we pull over. I get gas. They disappear. They disappear. What did my little chainsaw cobalt do? They saw a sign on the building next to the parking lot for the gas station. Five dollar pre rolls. They come back to the car with twenty dollars worth of fucking joints. More than we like. They spent as much as I would spend on one joint in a Chicago head shop. They've got a bag of joints. They're like, hey, hey, you can have two when you get home. If I can have two while we're driving, I'm like, all right, <laughs> this works for me. <laughs> so it was great. So oh, now, man. well, and I mean, I can't help. And, and uh, for the most part, like, Zanny knows what they're doing. But uh, we have our little traditions. I don't know why, but a lot of the times I love I love holding my, I love holding my little cobalt's joint. I don't know why. It's just no, something I, I like enjoy. That. It's cute. But it also means that they're not used to lighting their own stuff. Like, they know how to do the bong, but joints, you know, there's a subtlety to it. Uh, pulling in the flame, not just putting it into the flame if you're worried about how it's going to light. Paper on the front, you need to watch out for that initial flare. So I told them, status, have a wonderful day, my friend. Good night. Or S morning, whatever. Hey, good, <laughs> good day. Oh. So I tell them, it's like, well light it with the windows up and then I'll drop the windows the second it's lit and as they light it 
you know, I go back to my childhood where, you know, we had crank windows. Like, I have power windows in my car. This is new technology to an old shit like me. Mm. Like, well, I don't have to roll it down right away. And they're starting to do the little panic because I put the child locks on the windows. And they're hitting the button and holding the smoke. And as I roll down the window, they exhale. And I realized, oh, God, I just hotboxed us for a second. <sighs> so going down the road, I guarantee you, there's just fucking... Smoke just pouring from our car because I'm an idiot. <laughs> that made your drive fun. Fuck yeah, it did. And then the moment we got home, we pulled into the driveway. They got out of the car to clear out the luggage. I'm sitting in the front seat like, what? It's my turn. <laughs> That's true, that's true. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love traveling with you. Hell yeah, that was fun as hell. And, and, and then I, I, you know, I always like those little... Like you said, you like to hold up to my mouth and stuff like that. I always I like those little traditions. Uh, one thing, one of them I really appreciated I learned from Canada was what there were a lot of them were very big on. I can't remember the name for us for Cheers, but there's like like in the eyes where it doesn't count. You have to look in I the eyes. Like, yeah, it was super cute when we clink. Uh, I don't know. It was really cool. I had not uh, incur, incur, uh, encountered that before. It's we've said this before on the show. I love rules because rules can be are made to be broken laws fuck you don't ever tell me what to do but rules are fun they add a little bit of spice to it and yes the drinking rules like that i absolutely love i love look in the eyes uh i love i believe it's uh taiwanese mm. uh when drinking uh holding your hand under your other because traditionally you'd have long robes and that's to keep them off the table uh Hiding your drink at certain in certain cultures, hiding your drink and not making eye contact, but continuing the conversation. How to pass on a drink when you are with a group that's drinking and you don't want to drink. You still have the drink in front of you. Again, Taiwanese culture. I, I had a friend who taught me a lot about the Taiwanese drinking culture, and it's super fun. So many rules. Uh, allowing the elder to uh, bring their drink to their mouth first. The eldest person oh, okay. at the table must bring the drink to their mouth first because you would never insult them by making them feel like they needed to catch up because this is a social thing. Mm. And they should feel like they are part of the little things like that. Love, 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 love. Oh, Sigma. <laughs> Fuck laws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Sigma. That is a stock trader. And let me tell you, they feel the same way. <laughs> They're like, what? No, yeah. that's just for if you get caught or like are dumb, <laughs> right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Anyway. Cat Lover Jerry, uh, it's funny you mentioned that. Me and Zanny are working on something literally right now. It's a discussion we're going to have once the show is over. We have a lead on a very large van. Uh, we're going to be traveling the country, hopefully for a while, doing Dragget Show. Uh, and I'm not the biggest fan of flying. I do not fit in planes. I am a huge fan of road trips. Uh, me and my family, when I, you didn't do road trips, like big road trips with your family. Only you like did once trips. Or twice. Yeah. How far? Biggest road trip we ever did was to Georgia. Okay, so that's solid. That's, solid. that's a yeah, solid yeah. road trip. And St. Sigma, Louis. that's how it works. Those were the only two ones we really did. And like a whole family, biggest. Was that's so cool. All I remember the whole complete the whole family was completely miserable. So that we never did it again. Yeah. Uh, Maggie, this thing is gigantic. It's a full size van. Uh, because what we're looking at is uh, not only are we going to use this to go to conventions, literally all over the country, bring our dealers. Done with. Uh, like we're at the point where our dealers table is two bags. That's all of our checked bags on a plane already, and that doesn't include our clothing. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, I like to bring my own booze. I don't want to spend $20 anymore on a fucking glass of nice tequila when I could spend $30 on an entire bottle of my favorite sipping tequila. I don't need your shit hotels. Yeah, I had not, I had not gotten into road trips until Furry, or back when I was like out of college again. So I finally got to do a road trip again since I was like, yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. I love I love road trips. So like, mm -hmm. especially now that we're not, you know, we don't have to worry about a day job. We have to stream. It's the fucking twenty first century, motherfuckers. Vans can be hot spots, and I didn't know that. So, and this is again, we're still in the planning phases. We hope to uh, turn this van into a mobile hotspot where we will be able to reliably, and this is why we don't do it yet, reliably stream while on the road. You know. If we're going to camp one night, we set up the van, leave it running, give you an hour stream. 
if we want to do a driving stream, we set up the, well, you set up a camera because I'll be driving. And we go along the road and just talk to you guys while we drive. You know, fuck it. We could have some fun with this. But at the end of the day, a van, you could take all the extra seats out of. So this van has, a, you know, the main seats, the captain's chairs, second row captain's chairs, third row the big bench, and still room in the back. We could take out those chairs and all of a sudden, we can go camping. We can go camping. Mm. Drive it up to a campsite. We no longer need to pitch a tent until we feel like pitching a tent that has nothing to do with camp equipment. Get an air mattress, sleep in a van. I can turn on the air conditioning for 10 minutes. Make sh Just take the edge off the humidity. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yes, go to Hotbox. Hotbox! When I say constantly. Quack, that's amazing. Hotbox! 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 Hot oh my, no, what's that from? Oh man. Hotbox! It's from uh, 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 Fantastic Mr. Fox. I forgot about that. Remember that? People, they would, stay, they would uh, scream that shit. Now I always think of Hotbox! Anyway. Thanks, Sigma. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Sigma. Uh, Biggest what? 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 Biggest says you could hook up the AC to run off a secondary battery system so you don't drain the air. What? That's amazing. So, yeah, this is all stuff we're going to be looking into. Uh, I used to camp constantly. My back uh, does not let me sleep on the ground anymore. In fact, Sigma, again, thank you so much for your hospitality. Sigma had an air mattress set up to us. And we brought our own because, again, I cannot sleep on a lot of things. It will ruin my weekend. It'll take me days to recover. I'm too fat and old. But, yeah, like, the ability to just, all right, we're here. Our stuff is in the back. Let's build a fire, have dinner, hike around a bunch, and sleep in a van in an air mattress. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Running from the man. Yes, I will escape with my lube powers. Just go straight into the... This goes straight into the in the uh, uh, sewer vent like Lube Man did in Watchmen. Oh, I love Lube Man. Oh, Lube Man. Showed us how to escape. How to run from the cops. Lube is always the answer. Lube is always the answer. Lube is always the answer. You know? Biggest, that's exactly what I'm planning, but instead of a tent, I used to do the uh, rain flies. Just tarp off an area. You know, I've been, I've been traveling the country and doing camping since I was a teenager with John. Mm. So there's a bunch of places. Uh, we are going to go test a campsite, something that I might set up an outing for all of you. Whoever wants to join us, possibly in 2023, uh, we're going out to Rock Island at the end of this month for Zanny's, uh This will be your first real camping trip, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe because you were about to come on a camping trip with us. Why don't you tell them that story? The first time oh. you were supposed to go camping with me. Seamus, John is great. Their 40th birthday was two days ago. Me and John are like a week apart in age. It's crazy. The first time uh, we tried this, I... Sigma, that's funny as hell. I, I, I went out and I was on the way to meet you all going driving up north. Oh my God, Coda. And, you know, uh, I remember the, the Bulls were on the radio. They were actually in the playoffs. This is how long ago this was. Well, the Bulls still weren't shit. <laughs> they, they had Derrick Rose at the time. So this is like over 10 years ago when we were first started going out. Headed toward the campsite with uh, where y'all were going to. I I wasn't looking the right way when I was trying to turn over and like, and traffic stopped sh shorter than I thought. I rear-ended someone on the highway, totally totaled my car. Uh... It was a good thing, you know, it's supposed to crumple. That's what it's there for. <laughs> That's why the front crumples like that. I totally fucked my... Was that a vibe? It was, it was still... Little, yeah, I got a replacement vibe. In fact, that might be re re the repaired one that I still have. Because I... Uh, is it? I don't remember. Because one time I... you got another one between them. That one, I think you're right. I think I did total that, and then there was another. Oh. Yeah, I harshed my vibe. Nice! Uh, there was, then they got a replacement vibe. I thought I was going to total that one, but they repaired that one. I don't remember what that was, but anyway. I think that was just one of your car accidents. Yeah. I think you just got into an accident. That sounds about right. Uh, so, yeah, that uh, is hard, so it crumples around it. Yep, yep. And so, uh, 
Yeah, I didn't get to camp with you that weekend. That sucked ass. Oh, and I lost the car. <laughs> it, was a, it was such a bummer. Yeah, no, you were not happy that weekend, and rightfully so. And that really sucks. No, for, uh, to be to actually, I did go off on like one camping trip with like some other furries once a long time ago. I mean, and that's with my ex or whatever. Yeah, so. yeah. But it wasn't anything. It wasn't anything. Really, so, so, so yeah. At the end of this month, uh, uh, instead of going, you know, from zero to one, we're going from zero to hero because Rock Island is a rustic campsite on an island that uh, cars can't get to. So we'll be driving up the Door County Pen Peninsula, uh, seeing Door County, which I love. Door County is one of my favorite places. It's a beautiful, beautiful just area. Mm -hmm. uh, tons of places to go hiking. We'll find a place to stay for a day so I don't have to do the whole drive in one day. And then we're going to drive up to Washington Island, take the ferry with our car over to Washington Island, an island with like 100 people on it, and three stores, one of which is a very nice ice cream parlor. I'll have some ice cream, get over to the dock, and then we take a passenger ferry. No cars. A passenger ferry to get over to Rock Island, a island with two buildings. The Ranger's House and a little uh, stone museum built from the dolomite stones that are found on the island. It's a three-mile radius island, uh, very rustic campsites, a uh, beautiful sandy beach, a beautiful rock beach, and uh, nothing else. I do have a question. About this place, uh, you mentioned. Oh my being, God, Sue! They're being dolomite. Yeah, b bugs. And it's whatnot. dolomite, baby. Are we gonna put up any like bug tiki torches or anything? We like will that? not tiki torches. I will have a stack of the uh, bug repellent strips okay. that'll last. Yes, our our campsite will be tolerable when we are hiking. It's going to be bad. There will be bugs. There will be a lot oh, of bugs yeah. on this island. But you know what the cool part about that is? What's that? At night, you're going to get to see something amazing. What's that? Bats. Ooh, bats are going to help. are going to help eat the bugs. At night, what we used to do was sit around the fire and literally just lean back and look up. Because don't forget, these sites, this the, the side of the island we're camping on mm -hmm. is very dense woods. Okay. The only thing carved out is these small campsites and paths that we, we walk on. Like, it's fairly dense on this island. Our campsite is totally enclosed. You cannot see the path that we came from or the water. That is how enclosed these campsites are. Mm. And the campsite we took is a three-layer campsite. So you come in from the path up here, go down a few steps to a flat campsite where we're going to have our tent, mm. go down a sandy path, you know, literally as long as like two of these tables. That's the fire pit and uh, other like things just kind of laying their benches and down another path leads you to the rock beach. So when we're sitting there in the fire looking up, you'll actually watch the bats oh. zooming over your head, getting the bugs for like two hours after dusk. It's kind of amazing. That sounds awesome. Yeah, Lograth, do not. All I'm gonna say is if there's too many, if there's too many bugs, I'm gonna walk, ar walk around with the little spray. See like, you later, ah! Chikal. Got another one. Oh no! Don't you remember? Uh, yes. Don't you remember uh, Labyrinth? I love it's gonna be Labyrinth. like that. Ah! Ah! It's gonna be like Donkey Kong Three. Oh my God! Ah! It's constantly with a bug, bug bomb. Gunsmith, you go right ahead. Once I see that question, we got you. Gunsmith Jax is re uh, redeeming Question Master's helper. I can't Thank wait you to very see much, my friend. Yeah. No, no, it's super cool. It's super, yeah. super, super cool. That's awesome. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking forward. We're going to take a look at how this looks. There's only like 20 campsites on this entire island. So, you know, 20 campsites. We've got 47 people in this chat. Do you guys want to take over an island for like half a week? I th I kind of want to. Welcome to Dragon Island. I hear you, Tikal. You're amazing. Oh, wow. Welcome to Dragon Island. Oh, my God. That would be awesome. Dragon Island, clothing optional. Yeah. The ranger's going to be pissed. Um, yeah. <laughs> total the, Dragon Island. Total Dragon Island. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I spent my summer in a small island called Hog Island in Narragansett, Narragansett Bay in Rhode Island. Teensy Island, you can only get to by boat. There's no power, water, or sewer. Logo, that's exactly what this is. That's exactly what this is, and I'm so excited. Dragon Island. Fuck pants. I love it. 
Uh, Gunsmith Jacks, if you came through, let us know. But we are looking. You may ask your question. Hard Thank con. you very much for redeeming. That's arm, that is a different thing. But, arm, uh, yeah. Dragon Con is something very, very specific that I've been working on for years. I have plans for that. No, this is just a chill hangout. This chill. I will organize. I have no problem. Organizing things is fun to me. I own Excel. That's all I need. <laughs> I own Excel. I own Excel. That's oh how you plan God. things. Excel. It's true. All right, I go to bath one. I, I actually did not get the go. Go. Cool. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. No phone, no lights, no motor cars, not a single luxury. Twitch is going to ping us. I'm as sad as could be. Uh, Goddess of Chaos, you'd be more than welcome to die there. This island has two graveyards on it. I don't know. It's just two graveyards. I don't know why. I'm going to assume because of us. It, it knew. Uh, we could not do a live stream on the island. There is no signal on this island whatsoever. Could go stripper fishing. Oh, my God. Oh, Lograth, that is so cool. That is so cool. Stuka, thank you, gaming Stuka. Appreciate it, my friend. Ah, uh, there's Gunsmith. I have a streaming question. I was thinking starting streaming next month. So do you talk less or more on the stream if you have zero watching you? And do you have any other tips? Gunsmith, I will tell you one of the best piece of advice I ever got while running Nero. That is the LARP we played. If five people show up to the event... You better put all the effort into that event that you would have put into it if you had 100 people showing up there. Why? Because those five people are about to have the experience of their lifetime. Low numbers, yeah, it hurts, it sucks, but you know what? Low numbers is when you get to actually laser focus on your viewers. Low numbers is key, man. Don't don't ever skip out because of low numbers. Low numbers is when you make your your friends that are going to stick with your show, that are going to become friends, because that's the time you actually get to talk to them. Uh, and as far as that goes, uh, Gunsmith, the biggest change we made when we went professional, and I'll say, do this immediately, schedule. It doesn't matter what your schedule says you're going to do. If you're streaming once a week, so let's say you're streaming Sunday at 4 p.m. once a week for two hours. It doesn't matter what you do. But have that, you do that once a week. You keep your time slot. Uh, consistency is a huge thing, and I never realized how big of a thing it was until we used to do Dragon Show. Some of you have been around for a while. We've been doing Dragon Show since Skyrim came out. 11, 11, 11, I believe. That's more than a decade. And just now, now that we are on a schedule, our numbers are going up. We did this for 11 years for our friends, for a few of our fans, for people who found us at cons. But now that we have a schedule, people watch. And uh, that's really my biggest piece of advice. Keep to a schedule. Uh, Quack, it is, uh, it is not dark sky because of something within the ray. Basically, technically, it's not a dark sky camp, unfortunately. But I will tell you this right now. It's so far north one night, not every night, I can't say that it'll happen, we have seen the northern lights out there. Silence? Yeah, we're old. It's kind of fun. We can rent a car. Yeah, well, exactly, wild card. Uh, totally, totally, totally. It's fishing. Holy shit. Cohen, that is really cool. That's amazing. Coda, exactly. Oh, man. No, no problem, Gunsmith. Seriously. Uh, also, this isn't advice. This is just true. Have a good time. Uh, I I always have a good time doing these streams. I love chatting with all y'all. If you're not having a good time, people will notice. People will notice. I'm mad. Uh, hold on. Maggie, I hope never. I don't need a rose. Back when I was a kid in the 80s, we got water by pumping it out of the ground with a modified lawnmower. What the hell? It was Ugh. pumped into a 55-gallon drum on top of a large tower to give us pressure. Heat cooking refrigerator is propane. We take a couple of tanks out per week. Yep, Lograth. I, I've, oh, I never had to do that, but I had friends who did. 
Nice, nice. Oh, I used to love getting around in those golf carts in those small communities. Oh, yeah? Nice. Oh, biggest right? <laughs> I love... I. Don't get me wrong. There is something special about going out there and and uh, have, you know staying in the van, getting a little uh, uh, Winnebago and camping like that. But there's still something amazing about a fire, a tent, and a lot of quiet. Mm -hmm. Maggie, if he doesn't want to have a roast, I'm not gonna like force roast him. <laughs> no. Look, we all know what's gonna happen. It, it uh, when it happens, it happens. I'm not. Oh God. Anyway. Yeah. We got presents. Yeah. We got this last week, and I hadn't, uh, well, we opened it and then realized what it was, so we wanted to continue the opening. Biggest, yeah, Kage will never allow a roast. Mine will happen, but, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to help with it. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God, Lograth. Amazing. <laughs> All right. You Me? talk. I'm you talking. I, I have a box in my lap. That is not what I what do you think I'm th talking about. I actually have an actual box in my lap with stuff in it. <laughs> Shameless. Not that one either. This is a box with, with things that were sent over the mail. Not that stuff. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. But yes, we have presents. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to introduce these. Okay, go ahead. So, okay. who's First off, who's from? Oh, this is from... Oh, 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 oh. This is from uh, 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 Arctic Wolf, a.k.a. Uh, Connie Wolfwich. So. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <sighs> Connie, thank you so much for everything. Here we go. First, and this is crazy. We're actually going to tell a little story about this before we continue into the box. Uh, I did pay for that box. Ha! <laughs> Wild card. <laughs> the first thing that got sent over is a large set of D and D gaming dice for myself and Zanny, which is really funny. Earlier in the show, you might have heard us talking about uh, when the power went out, or not the power, when the internet went out by us. Yes, uh, the internet went out recently, and uh, that's when Zanny was watching. Uh, uh, what's that song called? Pool. Trouble. Pool. Yeah. Yeah. What's that from? The Music Man. Thank you, The Music Man. So we have a whole hard drive of movies. Some of which we haven't even watched yet, and I heard Zanny put on the Music Man, uh, because we needed something to do with the internet down. Internet being down, like I forget how uh, like lost you are sometimes without the internet. It's it's crazy. And how by you, I meant us, not just well, Zanny. Not, a lot of your stuff's like connected to it. You're yeah. just, you're, you're like, oh yeah, I was gonna watch that on that service. I was gonna play a game. Playing a game you can't play. Yep, you can't play games. All sorts on Steam. Of, yep. So I started looking through my board games, and as I'm looking through, I came across a box of uh, piece map pieces for D and D, and I realized, oh my god, Zanny. We can play D and D, and Zanny and I did what I used to do for a very long time: two-player D and D. Me as the DM and a uh, kind of tag-along character. Basically, they're going to pick a Gestalt class, and I'll cover the things they're not doing. So they didn't pick fighter, so I picked a big fighter Cobalt, and uh, we played two-player D and D for about eight hours with a short interruption in the middle while we dealt with something. Like, you actually played D&D, &D, uh, not for the show, mm. which you did and you enjoyed, but not yeah. to the point of, like, D&D. &D. A show is a show. What we cut out of that when we had to pause, it's still a show. Yeah. Uh, things had to happen. Storylines needed to move along. You couldn't stay in one place forever. And quite frankly, you couldn't just do everything you wanted to do. It's for a show. So Zanny got to play real D and D, where they could do whatever the hell they wanted to do. Oh no! Oh my God, Tikel! Thank you, Tikel. Oh no! Yeah. So Lograth, uh, that's the other part to it. So it one hundred percent turned into sexy time D and D. Like, we're not gonna even lie. We are both dirty, dirty old furries, and uh, yeah, it took what. 10 minutes before it turned sexual. Like, yeah, it's I think not we right. were during character creations, and he's like, Where's dick size? So I'm like, Well, you're a girl. I'm like, yeah, I'm talking about with my partner. I'm like, oh, oh my god. god. I was a cobalt, so you I were okay. Yeah, I agree. I, I've been reading uh, source books forever, I know the mating rituals of cobalts. Hmm. I'll have to read up more. 
Oh, Seamus, I'm glad you liked Fatty. Fat, uh, fatty was something I had been working on for years. I was always wanted to have a big, fat boss guy that when you finally got to him, the illusion, because don't forget how low-level illusions work. You only change little bits and pieces. So having illusionary legs and the reason he was so fat was that he was actually a beholder and the level that he floated at was just the gut. I'm sorry. I had been holding that in my pocket for years. I was so excited That's to cool. throw that out there. John was so pissed. Ah. John was like, yeah, I'm taking out Fatty. That guy's going down. It's like, all right, legs melt beholder. Fuck you, Dan. God damn it. I just wanted to kill Fatty. That's <laughs> yeah, hysterical. that sounds like John. Well, that, that, that's, that you made him wanting to kill him. And then it's like, ah, that's what you get. Yep. Mm. It's, nothing's easy in my games. <laughs> I get you. Because I've been playing this for too long, and I like watching John get frustrated. <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh, thank you for the follow. Seriously. Based Giga Chad XL. Ba based Giga Chad XL. Right. Dude, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Roll your anal sick. Maggie, Maggie, that's not a check. Also, that check is all. Never mind. All right. Anyway. So, yeah. Thank you. What's up, bro? Uh, seriously, thank you so much, Connie, for the dice. We're going to be using those because I think we're going to continue that D&D game every once in a while. Yeah. All right, the next item. Oh God, I know it. I love, I love these fans. I saw a bunch of these at IFC. I'm worried what this one's going to say. I'm very excited to see what this I'm says. I'm very worried. Okay, which way is it going to open? That way. All right, let's uh, see. Oh, weed! Oh, gay weed. weed! We got a gay weed fan. That's amazing. Oh, I love this. It's super cute. Thank you. Oh, dude, we love being the old gay couple. We get fun fans. I love it. Yeah. We're like, Alkali, what do you want to do? <laughs> oh, Connie, you're amazing. This is so cool. Mm. So now I have a gay weed flang and one that just says you're a bitch. So that's fun. That's Rusty, fair. we are doing fantastically. And then, oh my God. Holy oh. crap. All right. So as we all know, I do not read cards online. Uh, Connie, thank you so much. I will read this in a little while outside of the show. Uh, and four books. The Complete Home Bartender's Guide. Oh, oh, this is well laid out. Yep, this is just a giant cocktail book. I love it. Amazing. I love it. Ooh, a Rob Roy is in here. There's some old drinks in here. Mm. There's some old drinks in here. That, uh, Mary Pickford. Oh my God. Who's she? It's a. Oh my God. Okay. It's a drink. Uh. Oh, dude. Dude. Recipes to make your taste buds sing. Brought to you by Sing Out Detroit, an LGBT and LI chorus. Awesome. Oh, honey. Avocado banana rum ice cream is the page I went. Okay. Well, this is the greatest book ever. Fuck yeah. See, I think this is a, yeah, it's an LGBT chorus that put out a little recipe book. Hold on, let's yeah. see if there's a forward. I want to see if there's a forward telling us what this actually is, because I think that's what this is. Gay food. Yeah, I think they made a, here we go. Welcome to Sing Out Detroit's Favorite Recipes. Our family and friends have shared these good eatings in order for you to savor the tastings of our choir's many delightful song pairings. That's awesome! Awesome. Okay, so that's an LGBT cookbook. That's amazing. Feast of Fiction in the Kitchen. Recipes inspired by TVs, movies, games, and books. Oh my god, this is so cool. Feast of Fiction. This is so cool. The pictures on the back. Oh, there's some cool shit in here. Wow. Ooh. Tina's Gumbo, inspired by the princess and the frog. Oh, my God. Pineapple pork fried rice, inspired by Food Wars. Ah, Food Wars recipes. I want that gumbo. What's that? I don't know how well you can see this all. I am a huge fan of the show Food Wars. I just flipped to the gotcha pork roast. This is the pork roast made in the first few episodes of Food Wars, where he... Had to make a pork roast, but all he had was bacon. 
Oh, uh, this is a bacon covered potato roast. I will be cooking for the next year of my life. Oh no, it's gonna blow my clothes off. Yes, it's going to blow your clothes off. Oh, and finally, man. what? Cooking for wizards, warriors, and dragons. One hundred and twenty-five unofficial rep recipes inspired by The Witcher, Game of Thrones, The Broken Earth, and other fantasy favorites. That's awesome. Trail fruit, fruit and jerky. Oh my god. Shrimp goza. Shrimp, shrimp goza in shell roasted crab. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much fun with these. <laughs> well, this is very awesome. Thank uh, you so dude, much. That's amazing. Dude, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Silence, I get busy at conventions, including Basement Con. Thank you so much for the offer, but yeah. if I'm sitting down to watch TV, that means I'm drunk. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. I, I am uh, I, I love watching a show or two with my friends. I would love to have you over, sit down and watch a show, but when it comes to a con, me sitting down just feels wrong. Oh, oh. Sorry. You have to, oh, you have to flip it. You I, flick it. Okay. You hold it with your thumb. Okay, okay, Dad, give me it. Hold one side with your thumb. <laughs> Are you okay? My balls! Oh, no! I need those. Ow! Those are balls I actually That's need. Amazing. Are you okay? You colossal motherfucking wonderful idiot. That was so amazing. I can't believe you just did that. Ow! <laughs> it hurts. It was so funny. I'm so sorry. That was so fucking funny, you motherfucker. God damn it. Our relationship in a nutshell. God damn it. Fuck, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's so okay. Oh. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you for rubbing. I appreciate it. <laughs> Vegas, thank you so much. Do you, wanna, do you want a can of Coke? I like that. You like a can of Coke? <laughs> we don't have Coke. Oh we no. Drank, we drank it all. I did. I drank all the Coke. Oh, Duncan Zanny just flipped a fan into my nuts. <laughs> Wild card. Thank you so much for the biddies. Can somebody clip that? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know what the crazy thing is? What? I was uh, working on set. Oh, God. It's throbbing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. Ow. You'll always remember me for the next two weeks. I am so sorry. We lost the rating. Oh, no. What happened? We. <laughs> okay. That was too funny. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I was watching our preview while setting up the screen for the show. And the preview that was on was us playing Slap Cup when somebody slapped the cup right into your genitals. Yeah! And I had to giggle. I'm like, well, you took care of that problem. I did. Is this you trying to get me to cut it all off? It's, no. I <laughs> that cup hit me straight uh, in the nuts. Oh, God. Thank you, Coda. Thank you, B. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> oh. That was amazing. Well, at least I got a ball shot on camera before I lost him, you know? In case I was ever on the bucket list. It's true. You know? That's true. Oh, if you want to see my thank you, Low Graph. <laughs> what was that on? I'm sure that's somewhere on the Dragon Show YouTube channel. In case you want to see. Oh, that. is there a hype train going on? Thank you, everyone. Slap chop. Slap chop. Oh God, damn it. Nut shot hype train. See, so, yeah, the worst part is what you just did isn't even the first time I've seen something like that. When we were younger, we're all in uh, Denton's bedroom. Oh no. And uh, like I said, we camped a lot. So Johnny always Johnny was a uh, uh, what do you call those uh, Boy Scout. So Johnny had a ton of those like quick flip knives, yeah, you know, not yeah, spring loaded, yeah. but you can quick flip them up. And our buddy was trying to learn it, and they whoom, fucking threw the knife. It went over like not, I wouldn't say between legs, but if you had extended your legs out, it was between, and just bam, stuck into the bed where Johnny was sitting. And they're like, you're done. You are done. Not a <laughs> butterfly knife. Butterfly knives are, are actually very difficult to, uh, to to learn. Thank you, Lograth. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for the hype train. Uh, thank you. My balls appreciate it. Wait. I need eyes. Oh, in. God. They're bringing the money in. The money's coming in. Yeah, go for Come it. On. No, I'm <laughs> 
Yeah, no, no. We took the knife away from him immediately. Like, all right, you're going to learn to do this with chopsticks or something. No more. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Wild thank card, you. thank you so much for that gift sub. Cohen, welcome to the madness, my friend. Thank you. Oh. Welcome to the madness. We still have things to do before we yes, sign we off, do. and we should get to yeah, that. Yeah, we should. Sorry about your balls. Ah, uh, that's okay. After the show, you can just kiss them and make them better. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maggie! Oh, my God! Fanphobia. <laughs> what? And Alkali always wore a cup to the stream after that. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Maggie. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I called as a fan. Ah! Ah! How's this work? Oh, that was so fucking funny. Daddy, well show done. me! Well done, dude. God damn it. Okay, oh. uh, we do have other things that need to get done. So first off, uh, Connie Wolfwich, thank you so much for the care package. That was amazing. You are incredible. I cannot wait to open up those cookbooks and start doing a few things. Uh, which uh, reminds us, if you like uh, cooking with alkali, I know I keep hitting at it. It's finally happening. Uh, we're just going to make a very quick announcement. Uh, hold on, i got to go over to OBS. Yep, yep. Uh, is this the... Right, no. this and whatnot? What's up? Oh, yeah, these are our levels. Nope. I need our big levels. Where's that one? Big levels. We haven't had to use those in a while. We okay, usually don't show these. There? This is it. Okay. So this is our uh, Patreon rewards. As all of you know, uh, as we get up to more and more that the Patreon makes, uh, this is what we'll do. Well, in October, we have decided we are opening up as though we were making the total amount, not DragonCon, obviously, we can't just hold a convention, but DragonCon Online, Dungeon Dragons One Shot, Monthly Premium Cast, Fireside, these are all being opened up for October as a thank you to all of you for our relaunch. Seriously, everyone, thank you for being here. We will have all of this. The only one that we're on the fence about is the Dungeon Dragons. It will happen. It might not happen in October because don't forget, we have to record and edit, and those things are gigantic. So, though that is happening, we will owe you one after October. But in October, get ready for. For a brand new Cooking with Alkali, a brand new Xan Rance, uh, the start of a Dungeon Dragons one shot, and an all day stream. We will be doing an all day stream. And since we're on the topic right now, we'll just tell you the all day stream is going to happen <laughs> October 29th. That is a Saturday. We will be doing an all day stream. Uh, that date might change due to availability of our guests, but as of right now, we don't see it changing. That's more than enough time. All day stream, October 29th. We hope that some of you join us there. We're going to have a good time. We want to get back, and, and we want to give back to you guys. Can't thank you enough for everything that you do, uh, but we're going to thank you, and this is how we're going to do it. Yeah, it's going to be a crazy month, I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah, uh, October's going to be horrifying. Arm, thank you so much for subscribing, my friend. Seriously, you're amazing. Uh, it's going to be a really, really big show. We really enjoyed doing that before, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Oh, uh, we have people that will be like celebrating a birthday with us. That'll be wonderful. Oh, yeah, nice. If you can make it great, if not, the whole thing will be online, and you know how it goes. You know what the Dragon Show is. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you some of the best of... Uh, some of the best of panels. We're going to get our friends together. We'll get some live music out there. I mean, I know it's over the internet, but still, it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be doing some of our classic panels. We have a few new ones. Oh, thank you so much. Holy what crap. just happened? Wild card, thank you for that gift subscription. Seamus, welcome to the madness. And we just hit a level two hype train. Hell thank yeah, you so much, so everyone. Much. Guys, you. you rock. Yeah, we're really, for uh, I look forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. We got we got a lot of interesting ideas for pa panels and stuff that we haven't done yet. Yeah, yeah. so that'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> That's the brutality of it is I, I don't get a lot of uh, say in what panels I do at conventions. Uh, if you if you've seen me at cons, you you notice me doing the same panels over and over. Why? Because people want those panels. Uh, conventions want panels that they know people are going to show up to. I get leeway, but I don't get a ton of leeway, so I don't always get to do the new panels that we want to experiment with. Try because they might fail. Mm. I have done multiple panels that were absolute disasters. But I learned from them, and I made other panels better. So this is our chance to get some of the, the silly, silly panels out there that I enjoy. 
Happy September. Thank you, Duncan. <laughs> Thank you, Duncan. <laughs> All right. So that was the announcement we wanted to get out there. That's the only thing we want to talk about that's actually an announcement. But now we have things to do, starting off with, which one of these is empty? This one. Okay. Shout outs. Shout, shout outs. outs. Their names in a bag. Boom, boom, boom. Shout outs. Shout outs. My parents once called me fag. I got really mad at them, but that's in the past. Let's not think about that and dwell on it for most of your life and make it way too big a part of your personality to the point where you were like, no, fuck you. I'm going to be myself. I'm even more of a queer now. Are you happy? Is this what you wanted? You have a rainbow flag outside now. Oh, you want to take it down? I bought them in bulk, motherfuckers. Shout outs. Shout outs. I wonder who is next. We are we are so bad. Uh. Shout outs is a level on our Patreon that you can go in. We will put everyone's name from the shout out into a hat. In this case, a red solo cup because we are American. Yeah. Uh, we will pick three names every Sunday and every fireside. There's a few other times we'll pick names, and we're going to give you a quick shout out. When they're all gone, we refill the hat, so everyone will get a chance. Today we will start with. All right. Ah. Oh. Right to kill? Two? Nope, I have one. I hope. Can I read it? Seal! Seal! Thank you so much, Seal, for your patronage. You're amazing. Uh, Seal, uh, obviously, based off of the very famous singer, mm. uh, Seal John. Yes, Seal, oh, Seal, good John. Old Seal John, absolute oh, good old Seal John, yeah. doing songs such as uh, "A Tello Candle in the Wind" that will never go out because I'm smart enough to put a windshield up. Mm. Uh, uh, I'll never, I'll never forget his hit. Uh, what's that about? Uh, about playing uh, uh, settlers of Catan. Yeah, what's that? Or or or. Ah, uh, or or yeah, that's that a good a one. Good that's one. a good one. He just like, or or or, yeah, and that's like all you would say. It was a good. It was a good bop though. Oh, absolutely, yeah. amazing singer, dude. His biggest hit single. How to defend yourself against creatures of the lake. Hmm. Crocodile rock. Yeah. Just, yeah, you just bash him in the head with a rock. Really good song. I remember when he bit me. I was so blind I could not see. So I picked up a stone. I was all... <laughs> what? Where is this one going? I, I don't know. I, I didn't know where it was going. It was going to get bad, so I'm going to stop gonna it right get there. get us off that train. <laughs> la, la, la. Singing about happy things. Sing. Try not to get canceled on Twitch. Now Seal's got a ball on his nose. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, not treated right, because it's a circus. Oh, no. The See. circus is canceled now. We all realize how bad it is. It is really kind of cringe to make <laughs> elephants go round in a circle. Anyway. Really is. But that's okay because we all know what happened to Seal. That's right. Seal was saved from the circus by... Oh, Jesus. Rictar. Rictar, thank you so much, my friend. By Rictar. Oh, my God. It was such an amazing jailbreak yeah. from the circus because, you see... Rictar disguised themselves as a lion tamer. Mm. Ah, but then came that part of the show, the part of the show that we all wait for, when they put their head in the lion's mouth. But the lion, being a ventriloquist, as most lions are, not a lot of people know that all lions are ventriloquists, goes like, hey, hey, I'm in Devor. Oh, Rictar's like, wait a minute, really? And the lion's like, yeah, super in Devor. Rictar's like, do it. What? Do it. What do you mean, do it? We can't just do Vors. I know the audience will eat it up, pun intended. God damn so the it. lion, like, like spaghetti, slurped them all in, but we know, we know that no one, no one would want hard vor in a circus. That would be unsightly. So a soft vor, he hung out inside the lion for a little while, curled up, felt like a fetus. It's okay, we don't judge. And then that night, that lion, being a bulimic, just vomited them out, but now they're behind the scenes where they can save seal. I like it. I do, too. They got him out of there. All right. They left the circus. It was amazing. You are so brave. And then they met their traveling companion. Oh, no. And on that dirt road, they ran into <laughs> Dr. Larks. Oh, thank God. They needed a doctor, too. Mm. 
Dude, Richter was inside of a lion for like 12 hours. He needed medical attention. Oh. Seal work. Thank you, Maggie. Seal worked at a circus. They definitely needed medical attention because those guys do not take care of their animals. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dr. Larks, you saved them all immediately. The weird thing was Dr. Larks is such a good doctor, they can doctor from afar. And they were a little worried about this seal and this guy who's into getting eaten by lions. So they did everything from like 10 feet away. They were able to perform surgery by just throwing scalpels. Amazing doctor. Just truly outstanding. That's fantastic. Yeah, actually, they got a job at the circus later as the knife thrower, but then they realized they were still scumbags, so they, they left too. It's amazing. They can hold everything they need in that little doctor bag. Oh, yeah. Old-timey doctor bag. You Absolutely. Just, you know? and, and don't forget, they can't be attacked because they have that big round shield on the top of their head. You see that thing, the, the circle? Yeah, that's what that is. That's a magic item you activated. It's a big <laughs> shield. It's a big shield. A big shield. It's a shield. Thank you so much to uh, Dr. Maggie, Rice. it does make me feel better. No. Did the edibles just kick in? No, this is just what we talk alike. Mm, no, but we do have a lot of edibles in the fridge yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Our final shout out goes to. I had a magical time. Um, let's see. <laughs> Two plantains. And of course, what journey wouldn't be complete without two plantains who made a song about it? Yes. Oh, two plantains. Before we even get into any joke with this one, a huge shout out to two plantains, who is the uh, creator, if you've ever seen it, of Alkali's yeah, fucking, fucking gay popcorn. popcorn. Alkali's fucking, fucking gay. gay. And, and it's, it's fucking, fucking popcorn. Fucking popcorn. Alkali's, Alkali's fucking, fucking gay popcorn. Two plantains, you're amazing. You make the show better, and we appreciate that. Uh, they also did. Oh, you're fair. A B. Thank, Thank you. you. A -B. Thank you. They, uh, they gave me permission. I got to put that version up on our uh, uh, YouTube just so people can. Oh, yeah. You absolutely it. should. Yeah, yeah. I got to do that. Sorry, y'all. It's always one of those things I forget. Oh, yeah, dude. We, we have notes. Of, we've <laughs> lost notes of the thing that we're supposed to do to make the show better. Sorry about all that. <gasps> but, oh, two plantains, two plantains. Obviously. The reason why no one died in the circus, because as we told you, that doctor was only the knife thrower for a few weeks. Why do they call him two plantains? Replaced all the knives with bananas. Oh. The gorillas loved it. The oh. gorillas loved it. And worked just as well. Absolutely. And even like worked as boomerangs. So like oh, it was super cool. Until the guy got frustrated and started throwing them harder. The bananas were bursting. Then the gorillas loved it so much, they ran amok. That's right. This is the circus that the gorillas just ran through and killed half the people. Don't go to the circus. They harm animals. Moral of the story. The end. Thank Yay. you so much to our shout-outers. Seriously, all means the world to us. That list, we are getting down to, uh, I mean, we're getting there. When you said they ran a muck, I'm like, they ran a text RPG? Is that what they did? Yes, they ran a oh, text RPG. they're smart gorillas. <laughs> like, roll for initiative. Oh, whoa, okay. Whoa. Boozy? Yes, it is. Sorry about that, my friend. What? That's it. What? We That's did, it? That's it? We did four. Oh, we got yeah, were you it. about to do another? No, no, I was putting oh, them away. Okay, okay, we okay, always, okay. we are so hyper worried about getting the two baggies confused of ones we still need to do versus use that we're like, nope, I will do it live on the stream. I don't care. We're putting it away now. Mm -hmm. Do not screw around. Exactly, Boozy. We're not wrong. And it came into a story. It came up so, uh, uh, it came up. Shut up. It came up. It ca <laughs> came up. It came up. Came up so naturally. Anyway. All right. So we did shout outs. We did that. All right. Our next segment. Oh, my God. Yes, we, we got to do this. We went forever today. We did. We did. A, oh, hold on. I'll make sure it's, uh, everything's hidden. I think it is. It right? is. Okay. I remembered you hiding it. Okay. It is Sunday. All we know what that means. It's time for Rank This. Our shout out this week goes to Maggie Holt. Maggie, thank you so much for your submission. Top 10 favorite behind-the-scenes moments while working on the Dragon Show. We're going to do 10 of them. Five from me, five from Zanny. The top 10 moments. Maggie, thank you so much. Thank you, Maggie. Boozy, damn it. <laughs> All righty. All this right. Is, this is hard to pick, honestly. So These uh, were very hard. I'm glad that we both had to do it because it was mm. nice for you to pick some of the ones that I wanted to pick, too. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we could have both done a top ten list on this. So I was gonna wear. I was actually worried that we we're gonna have too many of the same. But uh, 
No, no, no. You nailed it. We had one similar one, I think. I think yeah, I think so. so. We'll see what they are. Top 10 favorite behind the scenes moments. Number five from Zanny. You got it? Oh, no. Uh, I turned off the microphone. It's oh, jeez. <laughs> nope, I hit the wrong one. My fault. Uh, Number five. Spread thy wings release stream. For those of you that weren't there, that was when Fox and Peppers, we set up this huge thing. We never We're both, done we anything. both did that. Yeah. Yeah, we never done anything like that. And that honestly, was. Honestly, it was just so cool. The, it was such a coordinated effort. It was, we, it was just, we, like you said, that was insane for where we are at the time. For where we were at the time, a uh, uh, huge shout out to Mackie. If you've mm-hmm. ever been to First Squared, I believe they are the director of uh, uh, main events. I don't even know what they do anymore. I just know that that convention uh, benefits greatly from how amazing they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mackie came in and turned our offense into a actual like four telev- television TV studio. We had multi cameras. I think it's up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It I was think a, it is. I think it was a nine hour day. Yep. We we started off with a patrons only for the for Fox and Pepper. Purdue, the, the, it was incredible, uh, including and this was my favorite moment when Pepper had drank so much that he needed to leave the the screen, go off to the side, vomit into my garden, and then we got a message immediately from Pepper's mother. Did you just vomit? <laughs> <laughs> she knew. She knew that's why he left the stage. Like ah. Oh, it killed me, but yeah, that one was uh, that was an experience. That old, I don't know when we'll be able to do something like that again. That oh, was yeah. so cool. And like honestly, it was kind of the precursor for us doing these longer ones where we did the launch yeah. and whatnot. It, it shows we're able to do it for one. I mean, going that long, going that long though. But at least now we like figured out to put multiple panels in there. We figured out ways to to make it like this was in, in actuality. It was a nine hour fireside. It was just us talking to Fox and Pepper and mm-hmm. going over thing, and to be there as we watched them realize their dream. the The whole album got funded that day, mm-hmm. the whole thing, and and to be with our friends as we get to experience them succeeding. I, 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 yeah, it, it, I'll fantastic. never forget that. I will never forget that. We got to do it again uh, to, to a much lesser extent, but we got to be with Status. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, as they, I, I was online with Status when they're. Uh, when they got fully funded on their CD, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that's so that's such a great fucking feeling. I'm so I was so happy for them and happy for Status when they found out. I was just gonna sw- uh, send that uh, link to the chat real quick. Absolutely, guys. Uh, we're putting the video for the Spread Thy Wings release. There's a lot of music in there. It's a nine hour stream. There's yeah. a lot of content. Uh, I mean, if that's something you want to put on in the background, there's music. There's talking. Something good to you know do laundry to. I bet. Mm-hmm. I'm putting yeah. it in there now. Thank you very much. So yeah, spread thy wings release. Spread thy wings release stream, definitely uh, uh, top five for both of us. Uh, an amazing experience. I wouldn't trade it in for the world. Mm-hmm. Number four. Thank you very much, Sandy. Yeah, no problem. Yep, it's a super long stream. <laughs> B. B. We will always, anytime our friends are doing something, and they want help. I love organizing. It's mm-hmm. why I started a convention. It's it's why I'll be setting up a, a an outing for everyone here in the chat when we want to do the Dragon Show and go camping together. It's why one day I'll make Dragon Con. <laughs> you do love your organizing. I do love organizing. <laughs> well, I mean, you should see Farrah doing being captain. Boozy during, uh, anytime. Space game. I mean, blah, 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 blah. you 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 are you are in your zone. I I, I am. I Artemis, love right? being captain during Artemis. Yeah. I, it's not always fun to play with me. I am very particular, and I, I yeah, Co- Coda got to experience that that poor poor dragon ah. got to experience like, all right, go to this location, get this ready, you do this, you do this, do, and I I really enjoy the micromanaging of that game. It's fun. Yeah. All right, number four. Uh, B message me. B message me. Yes. I will gladly help with that. Uh-huh. Yeah, boozy. We yeah we went for we went for uh what's called a lucky seven run when we played Artemis. Basically, the hardest thing you can do in that game, and there were two brand new players. We weren't going to succeed, but we were going to have fun failing. Hmm. Number four, top ten favorite behind the scenes moment while working on the Dragon Show from Zanny. Ah, the hundredth episode, the blood ritual. I forgot. That was I'm so glad you remembered that one. That's uh, a great moment. Yeah. Well, well, we had just done, which was I was going to include yeah. this as well when we did the the con, the conglomerate of a bunch of us streamers. That was a lot of fun. 
up on oh, stage oh, together, the, doing uh, it all together. Uh, cluster fuck. The cluster cut. Ca- the cluster Cl- cast. Cluster cast. That yeah. Was a, yeah, I wanted to do that again. It never gets approved. Really? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure all the other streamers hate us. Uh, oh well, that was fun as hell. I I love doing the cluster cast. A bunch oh. of us streamers out there. And then right after we had our Dragon Show, which was honestly that was the first time us doing that space. It might not have been the first time, but I just it was just so memorable yeah. in secondary AC. The Blood Ritual caught up. <laughs> we were talking about it already. And then people just kept saying it at the top of their lungs. Blood Ritual! Yeah. And I just out in the fucking crowd. Not just people. Yes. Children. Certain children. Young, badger-like children who probably should not have been listening to my show. This cut just running around screaming, Blood, Blood Ritual! Ritual! It was like watching a cobalt in their element. It was amazing. We're just like, what have we done? Oh, oh, the Bagots were, God, God, that was amazing. That was fucking Boozy, thank you as always for being part of the madness. It's always fun to have you on that show and your family is just wonderful. I say this all the time. One of the most wonderful things I can see at a convention is a family going there together and to be friends with the amazing uh, Boozy, the the unbelievably funny QM uh, and all the kids like just that family dynamic I love mm-hmm. I love seeing them enjoy a convention together it just warms my heart absolutely number four top ten favorite behind the scenes moments while working on the dragon show according to Alkali five dick shaped things <laughs> that it's that the so first good. time we tried to do something over the top we're like, dude, there's there's no way. If we keep trying, we can make this thing stick. We know we can. Sue, dear, I, I actually almost switched, but uh, with both of us having spread thy wings, yeah, I, I switched it back. So I was going to say, oh, the funnest part about to, that to me, every time you see five dick-shaped things, the first take, that was the first take you're seeing when it hits the wall. Because you were dead to the uh, world. Alkali was n- had none sleep, but he's like, okay, if we're going to do this, as be today, fuck, let's go. And his eyes are that tired where he's just like, fuck. And just, Boozy, that's amazing. It woke you up. It absolutely woke me up. Uh, if you watch the uh, outtakes, you'll see me say something about how long we've been filming. That wasn't the filming of that scene. No, no, to no. To film the entirety of... The uh, uh, 12 Days of Christmas was an all-day project. Yeah. Uh, we, we worked. Uh, that was the last scene. That's why, if you could tell, it's dark out as we're filming that. Uh, and yeah, when you whipped that dildo into the wall, I thought for sure you put a fucking hole in the wall. I know. Oh, my God. That, that killed me. It was so loud. It was so. It hit the part of the wall. I'm like, oh, that should have went through <laughs> the wall. I should have a dick-sized hole in my wall. <laughs> that's why, if you watch, that's why we move over to the fridge. I'm like, well, you're not going to throw yeah, it yeah. through a fridge. Yeah, yes, Sue. Like, Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh. And then I think it's, I mean, we were in the the amount of takes. Like, it oh, was Jesus a ridiculous Christ. amount of takes to get that well, to work. you could see, I, mean, I was trying to stick it. Just I, we We're like, okay, this is never going to happen after doing it so many freaking times. I told you it would happen. It just oh, took forever. It, it, did. it did happen. Oh. Five dick size holes, like a hundred dick size holes. I was too. so confident too that I'd be able to get it to work. I was like, oh man, this isn't gonna happen. Fuck. It was so good. It was so good. I was so glad we got to work. Oh, that was fun. Wild card, yeah, exactly. All right. Number three, three. number three coming from Zanny. Top ten favorite behind the scenes moments working on the Dragon Show. Mm. Random Furry is telling us that they love it, and honestly, this never gets old. Uh, but when we really first started doing it, especially like when people we were like, oh, you Dragon Show? Oh my god, I listen to that all the time. Like, what? Like, like, like on yeah. trips and stuff, and like people have told us stories of the listen to all of our shit. And we're it, just like, it, it really like it blew me away. It, it like, broke my brain. Yeah. Well, especially why well, we you started didn't get doing podcasts. This. Yeah, it's quite, yeah, 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 I did not get podcasts when we first started doing this. It the the Dragon Show started a year later than it could have because Zanny would come to me. It's like, hey, we should do a podcast. We could talk together. We like who would ever listen to that? And I was adamantly against it for probably a year. Mm. And then you finally got me to sit down. I'm like, I don't know why anyone would be entertained by the stupid way we talk to each other. 
and then I finally understood what podcasts were. Like, it never clicked to me that, oh, this is what to listen to while you're driving. It's mm -hmm. something to distract you from your life. I, okay, fine. We have a weird cadence. I could see why people might slightly enjoy this. But the to have people actually say us, <laughs> tell us that they liked, oh my God. I think, I think you were enough for it because you were so uh, entrenched in morning radio, the bad version of that. That's definitely a part of it. You're right, right? That's definitely a like, part of it. I went to the grocery store. You went to the grocery store? I bought groceries. What? One of the tomatoes was bad. Oh, no. You can't have a bad tomato. That's what I said. So I returned it. You? They let you return a tomato? No! Wow. Drum roll. <laughs> fuck me. The, 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 the fuck morning me. bastards. You know, just like, fuck. Oh. We have a couple of that. We're in Chicago. We should have a good one. We should have Where good ones. Every once in a while. We hear the highlight. They put on the radio for the stations where they were, they were that bad. Oh, God. I hate to be that person. I we, really do. We have well, one gentleman God. who's a surrealist. Yeah. Okay, uh, Greg B. Harold, Greg T. Harold. Like, everything about him is something I should like. It's such cookie cutter surrealism it's the throwaway jokes that we do when we want to be surrealistic but we know we can't we have an audience they're not here to be confused they're here to see a specific show and that's his level of surrealism yeah and seeing how good he has he is at it hurts ah. he could be doing something insanely unique and creative and fun but watching him get pulled down to the level of no this is what works works on radio morning radio but every once in a while you get to do a throwaway surrealist joke fuck me fuck me he's funny but he can't he's not allowed to be funny in that way on that show yeah yeah I get what you're saying i get what you're saying also incredibly gay so awesome yay Oh my God, Sue! Of course, he's gonna have the weird humor. That makes me say no. I really, yeah. And, and when he gets weird, it's only for a few brief moments, but yeah. it gives me a smile. Oh hell yeah! You know, but uh, it's all, uh, all about those like uh, you know fucking with expectations when they're yes. just like, I went and got a store and I got a pencil. I was like, come on, dude. QQH, just judging by the way he does it, I don't think that's what he wants. I think he wants to be a surrealist because he always, like, you could tell he gets super into it, but then he has to bring it back in. He has to he has to go back to doing a radio morning show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh. Maggie, if I could be a surrealist all, all the time, I love my weird humor. You, you see it with the uh, shout-outs. Mm -hmm. Shout-outs are just me being weird. You know, I we're slowly adding a full story to it. Before it was just me making fun of names in the strangest way I could do. <laughs> Alkali biscuit. Oh my god. Alkali biscuit. Rudebaker. Rudebaker. Come quat. The top ten favorite behind the scenes moments while working on the Dragon Show from Alkali number three. <laughs> <laughs> the performers high from pre-recorded shows. Oh. Uh, very rare. Very rare. When we were doing traditional Dragon Show yes. in the basement, two microphones, the headset so we could hear each other, we knew when we had a golden episode. We did. It's super rare. Um, a lot of them are on the top the top 100 moments, and a lot of them started happening in episodes 101 through 200 because we became more comfortable. Yeah, we got to go back and get those, honestly, or just ask y'all what, what your favorite moments from a lot of those are and figure those out. When there's nothing, like, don't don't ever forget, I do this with my mate. <laughs> when we finish a show and we're still laughing after the microphones are off, mm. there's nothing like that. There's nothing like knowing that we created something that we enjoyed, like, to the yeah. level where it's going to stick with us. Yeah, every once in a while we have our little in-jokes that are, like, way funnier to us. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while there's, like, but, but sometimes you just got that magic lineup. For us, it's recently every time Alkali sends me to the grocery store. He's like, Cole, Cole, what'd you get? And I'm like, Jesus! <laughs> so that's yeah. ours. But good Lord, I love it when like shit happens on magic as far as going back and forth with you. It's so fun. Uh, anyway. Yeah, no, those those, those jokes, those moments, and, and I would Like you said, like the, when our performers get high, we just get to some places that you, would, you normally wouldn't get to go. Yeah. And, yeah. Being able to play off each other for an hour and find those places, uh, the the uh, improv A mm. B 
when we get to go A, B, C, when we hit the second, oh, nothing like it. <laughs> nothing like it. Uh, sorry, sorry, that's just a performer moment. Oh, God, for me. we got five minutes. Wait, do we have five? Oh, my God. We, uh, we have longer. six minutes left, barely. Jesus. Top 10 favorite behind the scenes moments while working on the Dragon Show number two, according to Zan. Filling the room. Yeah. Okay, so when we first started doing this, we had a few people. Like, you know, it's a fucking podcast. It's yeah. expensive. It's expected. But like, 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 and we did a few, and then I couldn't believe it when we're doing it. People are laughing. We're getting, like, we start with the smaller, <laughs> and then eventually, standing room only, everyone's having a great time. That shit, like, just, it was very much like, can you believe this shit's happening right now? And, like, it might have been IFC, even. I can't remember which one. It might have been it. I can't uh, remember. MFF. Was it MFF? MFF. They gave right. us a midi mid-size room. Yeah. When we filled that and found out there were oh. people outside, that broke us. That, yeah. That broke us. Uh, and don't get me wrong, Maggie, getting main stage at a con, even with what I do, is 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 amazing. I, I can't believe that the convention would think that I belong on main stage, because I don't. But we're talking about the attendees. Mm. The attendees filled the room. Uh, mm -hmm. that level of support is uh, beyond anything that I ever thought I'd have. Yeah. Like, this is our show. This isn't a panel we're running. This is our show, something that we work on. And, uh, yeah, that that's one of those moments that you realize, like, oh, people like this. Yeah, we're all having a good time yeah. right now. We're enjoying performing. You're enjoying us performing for you. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's amazing. So thanks all for Thank seeing you. us live. Number top, two. Top ten favorite moments behind the scenes while working on the Dragon Show from Alkaline. Number two. Mm. The, the, the making it permanent. Mm. Turning this garage into something that we could be proud of. D guys, the, 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 the billiards but Thursday, it's killing me that we don't have a third camera. This studio is set up so that we could do crazy shit like that. We mm. have a vent because we are getting so overwhelmed. Like... Everything that we have out here is centric to producing content, and that's something that I never thought that I'd be able to do, barely as a hobby, let alone as a job. And yeah. uh, every time I come into this garage, like, yeah, I know we smoke out here. I know we also hang out out here. No, it's the studio. Mm. This was created to to make content, and it's something that we were able to not only do, but we're dedicated enough to do it. Yeah, it and took a lot too. I wish we wish we could have showed you the before and after of some of the things we've done in here. It's kind of crazy. I regret. Eh. I, I, we should have taken before oh. and after pictures. Yeah, yeah. And, and oh, a huge well. thank you to everyone who helped make this happen, whether it be through small donations. Uh, Fox Amore uh, was with us when we got this done, painting the garage. Like we mm -hmm. we put up drywall in here. We insulated the ceiling so that we could not freeze in here during the winter. And told uh, it and changed the total. Uh, layout of oh the yeah we I'll just be... did everything around yeah and no. that really like kind of <laughs> cemented it in uh boozy we're on our top two i'm assuming that you are streaming right after us if anyone knows if anyone sees boozy goes live let us know yep. uh we're gonna finish this up and probably uh say our goodbyes and pass you over anyone who put in okay perfect boozy you're streaming right after us anyone oh he went live amazing oh, good Anyone who put in questions for t today, we will get to them later. Uh, we ran out of time. We're, we're done. Yeah, yeah. Are you watching us live on your show? God, you are a mad genius. Oh. His N ass is live? Whoa. <laughs> that's a live ass. Uh, that's a live ass. Number one. Number one from Zanny. Top ten favorite behind the scenes moments while working on the Dragon Show. Off the good relaunch is a success. It's when we knew we could do this, actually. and That broke me. That, that one broke. all cared enough to let us I, do this for a living, pretty yeah. much, or try to. I mean, like... Thank you, everyone. Seriously. I, like, it, it, it was the big moment for us when we knew, is this going to happen or not? And I was um, waiting for crickets. I was waiting for our friends to show up, and we were going to have a good time, and this would always be a fun hobby. Like, we'll always do the Dragon Show. It's too fun for us. Mm. But when, yeah, again, just... People wanted us to do it, and that I wasn't ready for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is probably one of the best moments of my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was it was, ama it was amazing. It really yeah. was, and the whole 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 day was fun. So yeah. Uh, anyway, that was yeah. it in a nutshell. Uh, 
You go. Before we go, I obviously have to throw out there, meeting the people I have throughout my life. Uh, Boozy right now is watching us, getting to know you. Uh, as, because when it started, it was somewhat through the performances, and then mm-hmm. you know we got to know each other on a more personal level. Kage was the same way. Mm-hmm. Uh, the wonderful people I've met over the years. Fox, Pepper, Benny, Sue, you guys are amazingly talented people. Uh, Sigma, oh my God, your, your panel is so good. Your panel is so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Boozy, I genuinely can't imagine my life without you in it at this point you we've become a bottle night buddy bottle night yeah. fuck me uh i don't want to get savvy we're about to end the show uh it just thank you thank you to everyone who has shared your talents and your lives with us i i, I love y'all i i genuinely do <sighs> number one we yeah admit. boozy but we're pretty fucking close number one top 10 favorite behind the scenes dragon moments while working on the dragon show somebody out there caught it yep you got it no, I'll boozy. April Fools. Both of them. Both of them. There is a failed April Fools episode that we will never forget. Uh, our very first April Fools episode, because again, I like surrealist content. We uh, were young. We were only a f- like what th- five, six years into our relationship. That was oh, so, so you good. know honeymoon phase. So we thought you know it'd be good. We're on a yeti microphone. Why don't we uh, just record an episode with screwing and not mention it at all? Yep. So for April Fools, we have a dead recording. I don't know where it is. Like, we have an audio file We did, somewhere. we did. It probably got lost after a computer, whatever. Because that shit's hard. We couldn't do it. We tried to, to record an entire episode well screwing yeah. and never mention it like we were trying not to make it known but we wanted like our, our imaginations would have people at home like oh yeah the dragon show episode this is oh that was a really good segment it kind of sounds like they're fucking doesn't it like do you notice that in the background everyone are they no they're not a, so yeah that one uh yeah. but genuinely the episode when that didn't work the episode we came up with ended up being gold yeah i'm trying to it's got the face off Thing. I call it Lurpa Sleuth. You can find it, it. I can't find it right now. This is the Egghead one. That was a different one. Oh, that's one a different one. I can't uh, find it. But anyway. We both played each other, and uh, my buddy John the Human, Boozy, if we could find it, we would. If we could find the fuck cut, we would uh, absolutely release that. Also, our voices would be way different, so that'd be kind of funny. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah this is an old, old episode. Uh, Maggie, yep. Us as each other. John said it perfectly because John yes. was a very close friend of us. Uh, like, guys, it was like listening to the two of you have a fight in a supermarket because the two of us were just bringing up shit that we were annoyed about with each other, but smiling the entire time. The episode actually helped our relationship because oh, yeah. after we were done, we're dying laughing because, again, it was a performer's high. We nailed it. It wasn't a magical episode. They're like, so it actually bothers you that I do that? I'm like, eh, a little. like, oh, sorry about that. That's really funny. It's like, yeah, it didn't bother me enough to bring it up. It's like, yeah, but now I know. Well, now I know. Let's have sex. Okay, we got the microphone. And, yeah. Oh, so funny. Nothing will beat April Fool's. That, that was a magical moment in the Dragon Show. I will yes. never forget that. That's so good. Anyway, we are <sighs> past time. Uh, we sorry. did it. Boozy, we will toss to you now. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. We will be back tomorrow. We will be back uh, tomorrow for Stardew Valley, where Boozy is going to be running the game. Boozy is bringing someone in from their stream to join us for Stardew Valley Monday. We have two episodes that left this Monday and next Monday. Don't forget, next Sunday, we will be doing the drawing for our Stardew Valley. Bill, your uh, heroic hump day, Wednesday. We're probably going to keep our old time slot at least for one more week, 4 p.m. Central. That's Wednesday, 4 p.m. Central is our multiplayer day. Please join us there. Uh, and Billiards but Thursday, 7 p.m. Central, uh, followed up by a free Dragon movie night. If you're on the stream, we'll give you where to go to watch the movie with us. We will be watching the Apple uh, Wild Card. We're not going to announce that yet because me and Zanny are still working on it. Yep. All right, so those are all of our shout-outs. We're going to cat pass you over to the unbelievable Boozy Badger. Boozy, have a wonderful stream, my friend. We'll see you there in a minute. And I think that's it. Did we do everything? We did it. High five. <sighs> Until next time. I'm Zanny. I'm Alkali. I'm Zanny. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>